It is my pleasure to introduce our speaker for today. I was overwhelmed with the <laughs> 30 page, Totoo 30 yan. page curriculum vitae. All right. So our speaker for today is a prolific writer in gerontological and education related studies. He has extensively published a total of 168 articles in various ISI listed journals and at the same time serves as editor, board member, and reviewer in international ISI journals. He has received the various prestigious awards, which included the 2007 Simeo Jasper Research Award given by the Government of <clears throat> Canada and the Southeast Asian Ministers of Education Organization. The 2006 National Research Council of the Philippines, Department of Science and Technology, Achievement Award in Governmental, Educational, and International Policies. The Dangal ng USD Award for Most Outstanding Researcher in Education and Social Sciences in 2004. Best Published Work in Education and Social Sciences in 2008 and 2011. Gold Series and International Publication Awardee in 2002, 2004, 2006, 2008, 2010, 2012, 2014, 2016, and 2018. And the Young Achiever Award of the Outstanding Tomasian Alumni, the Hall of Fame Award of the Dangal ng UST in 2007, among others. He was the recipient of 2011 Israel's Mashal Fellowship in Curriculum Development and the 2014 Australian Awards Fellowship in Curriculum Leadership at Queensland University of Technology Brisbane, Australia. In 2017, he was appointed by President Rodrigo R. Duterte to the seven-member committee of the Teacher Education Council in the Philippines. He serves as one of the advisory editors of the Asia-Pacific Education Review, editor board member of the Educational Gerontology Journal, reviewer of various ISI listed journals, and member of the Journal Accreditation Committee. Commission on Higher Education. He pioneered the introduction of the thesis by article style in the country. He serves as one of the assessors of the ASEAN University Network Quality Assurance. He is also the rec recipient of the prestigious 2011 Metrobank Foundation Outstanding Teacher in Higher Education and the 2019 Metrobank Foundation Award for Continuing Excellence in Education, or the ACES. At present, he handles research and educational management courses in both graduate and undergraduate levels at the University of Santo Tomas. Without further ado, join me in welcoming our speaker for today, Dr. Alan de Guzman. Good afternoon. Can you all hear me? Yes. Good afternoon. Okay, good afternoon, good afternoon, Dr. Neri. Good afternoon, so, major uh, colleagues afternoon. and to all the students of Chiang Kai-shek College. So allow me first to share my screen this afternoon because I only have around one and a half hours to share with you. Okay, can you all see my slides now? Opo, opo, opo. Okay, so yes, magandang hapon sir. po sa kailang lahat. Once again, Salamat magandang hapon po. Salamat. Uh, it's my pleasure, Dr. Neri. We always say that to whom much is given, much is expected. And by your own fruits, we shall be known. So I hope I'll be able to give justice once again to the invitation and even to the trust and confidence extended to me by your college. In, of course, not only, of course, teaching, but also inspiring the members of your community as far as research is concerned. I was listening intently to the opening remarks of Dr. Neri, and I was a bit overwhelmed when she mentioned that not only, of course, literature review, conclusion, introduction, methods, as if, you know, I'm supposed to cover practically the entirety <laughs> of research only for two hours, something that I normally cover for one semester in the graduate school. Love but my dear colleagues, me. my dear colleagues, my very purpose for this afternoon is even, of course, to inspire you and even to, to redirect some of your old misconceptions as far as writing the literature review is concerned. In a short while, you'll be able to understand why of all the parts of a publishable paper or a thesis, I chose the one of literature review. 
My dear colleagues, my name is Doc Alan, and I come from the University of Santo Tomas, and I handle research in the following colleges, in the College of Tourism and Hospitality, the Graduate School, the College of Nursing, the Faculty of Theology, the College of Commerce, the College of Education, and I am a resident researcher of the Research Center for Educational and Social Sciences. And then, I, my basic assumption for this afternoon is this. I'm pretty sure that for the end time, many of you here, students, administrators, and even faculty members at Chiang Kai-shek College have been, of course, attending a number of webinars for the past several months using different platforms, Microsoft Teams, the one of Zoom, and other platforms. And that's the reason why my wish and prayer for this afternoon is I will not be contributing to your webinar fatigue. That's one of my wishes. It's one of my prayers this afternoon. I will not be contributing for the next two hours to your webinar fatigue. Also this afternoon, another wish and prayer coming from Doc Alan is how I wish that I'll be able to inspire you at the end of the two hour session. I believe that the role of any research teacher is not to threaten the students in terms of doing research whether this one is publishable or the one of the usual traditional thesis format. The role of any research professor or any advisor for that matter is to inspire the weak and even of course those who are strong. My dear colleagues, this is not a webinar for Doc Allen. I would like to welcome you all to our methodological conversation. Sa hapon pong ito, tayo po ay mag-uusap lamang tungkol sa mga posibleng mali nating ginagawa at sa mga bagay na pwede nating gawin ng tama. To be a good researcher is not an easy job. Why? Mahirap magpakabuti, pero madaling magpakasama. <laughs> Committing errors in research is very easy under a lousy advisor. But to be a good researcher is to be under a good advisor or a mentor. My dear colleagues, this afternoon when I received the invitation of Dr. Neri, although it was not really a formal invitation, it was only, of course, you know, a, a call that I received from her. She told me that I'll be, of course, giving this um, <clears throat> session for one and a half hours. And then surprisingly, last night, uh, Professor Aldrin informed me that you're extending it to 30 minutes more. So we are starting the session at one o'clock and we hope to end our conversation at three o'clock. Uh, the reason why I became happy is because it gives me more time to clarify some of the things I would like to cover for this afternoon. Why, of course, you know, I think, you know, the, the very basic question that I would like each one of you to ask yourselves is the one on the screen. My dear colleagues, look at this question on the screen. What is your goal in this conversation? Many of you here may be invited by the dean or by the administrators of Chiang Kai-shek. Some of you probably may be forced to attend because you are writing your thesis. But I think at the end of the session, you must be very clear about your goal in today's conversation. Is it your goal to learn something new from Doc Alan? Is it also your goal to relearn old things? Is it also your goal to unlearn bad habits in research. Take note, three different forms of learning may happen this afternoon. Some of you may be learning something, may be relearning, and may also be unlearning. But among the three, the most difficult thing to do is the one of unlearning. We always say, you can bring a horse to the river, but you could not force the horse to drink water from it. Batu bato sa langit, tamaan wag magagalit. Sa wikang Filipino, anong sabi natin? Mahirap pilitin ang taong ayaw. At mahirap turuan ang isang tao sa mga bagay na dati niya nang nakasanayan. What I'll be sharing with you are the practices that other scholars across the globe are using and practicing. And that's the reason why yesterday I did ask, you know, Professor Aldrin, if he could possibly transmit to your respective emails or other forms of communication, my handout, my information map for this afternoon. And for this afternoon, my dear colleagues, I consider this as our learning compass. Consider this as your unlearning compass and consider this also 
as a learning compass. And you know very well, the purpose of any compass is to provide a good sense of direction. I am pretty sure that most of you here will agree with me that in Philippine graduate education, the final requirement for you to be able to get your degree for master's or your PhD is to submit the final requirements. Either you produce a thesis or the traditional thesis, which we normally call as the monograph format, where everything comes in chapter format, chapter one, chapter two, three, four, and five, or some graduate schools in the Philippines like UST, we are, we are now moving away from the traditional chapter format. Our students are being gradually trained on how to produce publishable papers following the so-called the Imrads style. And I'm pretty sure that in Chiang Kai-shek, you're still using and you've been accustomed to the traditional chapter format. Am I correct? Yes. You're using now the chapter format. The chapter one is your problem, rationale, and backgrounds. Chapter two is the review of literature, which will be the focus of my conversation this afternoon. Third is the one of the research method. Fourth will be your presentation, analysis, and interpretation of data. And your last chapter is summary, conclusions, and recommendations. Practically from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, this is the format that graduate school students are following and the format that our graduate school professors and even graduate advisors are accustomed to. But if you try to look at the one that we are using now in the University of San Tomas, which I think may be soon in be implemented in Chiang Kai-shek through capacity building workshop for your faculty members is the one of the publishable format. You will notice we don't declare anymore any chapter in our paper. We just simply label it as introduction, theoretical backgrounds, materials and methods, or the method section, results if you're doing quantity, findings if you're doing qualitative research, then we do have the discussion, conclusion, and the one of preferences. So in, on page three of your material, you will see that I'm doing a very good comparison on how the traditional format, the one that you're using, and the one that UST you know, has been implementing for quite some time, the one of the publishable format. So you will notice that whatever format or whatever parts you have in the traditional format may also be found in our publishable format. But then is the major difference. When you write the monograph format or your traditional style, a typical thesis would run for about 15,000 to six to 20,000 words. But for those of you who are doing dissertation in the traditional format, the usual word count is 80,000 to 100,000 words. And you would notice you might be overwhelmed with the thickness of the traditional format of thesis and the one of dissertation. But the one we're using in the graduate school of UST is the one of the Imrad style. Why do we call it Imrad? Because you get to see the I stands for introduction, M is for the method, R is for the results, and the discussion portion, including the conclusion. And typically, our publishable paper in UST runs for about 4,000 to 6,000 words. For the master's students, they are supposed to come up with two publishable papers, while our PhD students are supposed to come up with three publications or three publishable papers. So again, this is up to you, of course, whether or not you will shift from the traditional monograph to the one of the Imrad style. But I would like to respect now your traditional format because this was also the format of UST years ago. But the question is like this. If I may ask now the members of the group, very important that you know exactly, not only of course what to write, you should be, of course, understanding why are you writing each of these chapters? Because I believe that there are some students who are just simply mechanical when they are writing their thesis. They just simply follow certain format. But every time you prepare a thesis, every time you defend the paper, I would like you, of course, to understand this, of course, basic question now. If I may ask now the members of the group, which among the first five chapters of your traditional monograph style should be, uh, is written first? Which one is written first in the context of Chiang Kai-shek? 
Ano po sa limang chapters na itong una niyong pinapasulat sa estudyante? Chapter 1. Chapter 1. Oh, there you are. Chapter you one. would normally be asking them to start with chapter 1. Okay. And allow me to, uh, to rectify or to address okay. that misconception. Okay. And of course, in scholarly writing, you don't start with chapter 1. You always start now with chapter two. And no wonder that is a common error of many of our students. They are writing their introduction. They are writing the problem and rationale, even formulating the questions without reviewing the literature. That's why, my dear colleagues, let me rephrase my question on the board. Which chapter should be written first? In my first question, which chapter is written first and you answered chapter one, I think your answer is correct if my question is the one in red color. But the moment I start asking the question, which among the five chapters should be written first? I'm using now the word should. It has to be your chapter two. And no wonder I chose this part to be, of course, you know, the focus of my conversation this afternoon because this part now will direct the rest of the chapters of your paper. I hope that gradually some of you are trying to reconcile or if not realizing now, mali pala yung ginawa namin. Bakit kaya kami chapter one nagsisimula? Remember, even Cardinal Wolseley once said, and this is the one I keep on telling my advices and my students in the USD graduate school, be very, very careful what you put into that head because you will never, never, ever get it out. Probably when you were in the master's level before, your professors or your advisors told you to start with chapter one. And now that you're advising, you're asking now your advisors to start with chapter one too. And that's the reason why I'm sharing, why I'm sharing this kind of thinking. And I would like, of course, you to start addressing whatever misconception you might have in research. And I have always been a believer of the statement of Jim Ron: When the why is clear, the how is easy. Many of our students in the grad school would always be problematic. How do I write this? How do I go about this? How do I compute, you know, for the standard error? How do I compute for the mean? How do I go about ANOVA and so on and so forth? But I keep on telling my students, if you know the why of what you're doing, very easy for you to understand the how. And coming from the province of Bulacan, whenever we translate these statements, we always say, kapag tama ang dahilan, madaling madali ang paraan. Kapag tama ang dahilan, madali po ang paraan. And this is my concern for this afternoon, my dear colleagues. Doc Alan will not teach you the how, but Doc Alan will teach you more of the why. why. But I will still cover the how, but in the process, you will understand why you are doing it that way. And no wonder we always say, when the why is clear, the how is easy. This is the usual tendency of many researchers. What kind of understanding should we have in terms of research? Is it procedural understanding or conceptual understanding? Marami po nakakatapos ng thesis. Pagkatapos ng thesis writing nila, nag-defend. May grade na sila. May MA na sila. Sabi ng mga kaibigan, buti ka pa. Tapos ka na ng master's mo. Ako ngayon pa lang. Tanong, paano ba sinulat yung chapter 2 mo? Hindi ko kasi alam. Anong sagot nung nag-defend? Hindi ko nga alam kung paano ko natapos yun. Ang mahalaga, tapos na ako. Ang mahalaga, may MA na ako. Why? Because that person is a product of procedural understanding. Ang sabi kasi ng advisor, you make chapter 1. I approve it. You proceed to chapter 2. My dear colleagues, more than the procedural understanding in education is the one of conceptual. Why? Because procedural only deals with the how, while conceptual understanding is more of the why. If you know why you are doing it the way it should be done, very easy for you to transfer the skills to other people. Question with your colleagues, are you all excited this afternoon? Yes or no? 
Yes. 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 Very, yes. Excited yes. Now. Very, yes. very, very, very excited. Oh. And yes, that's sir. the reason very. why, why I would like you to understand every time you write your chapter one, you are giving the readers the contextual dimension of your paper. I label it as contextual dimension. Why? Because when you write your chapter one, you are giving your readers, your possible panel members, the background and rationale of your paper. And that background constitutes the so-called context. Every time you write your chapter two, you're actually advancing your arguments in your paper. And the most important parts you know, in the proposal is the one of chapter two, because this is where you're going to convince the members of the panel that there's something good in your work and your argument is something valid. And whenever you write your chapter three, you are, chapter three, you are providing now your readers with the procedural understanding of your work. In other words, how did you go, how did you go about the process? Well, chapter four, your traditional presentation, analysis and interpretation now is what I call the substantial dimension of any paper. This is where we would like to see the merit of your work. This is where we would like to find out if the questions in chapter one were all substantially answered and responded to in your chapter four. And the moment you start writing your chapter five, this is what I call the directional aspect of any paper because future researchers will find some direction and would know how to take off from wherever, of course, you stop or wherever, of course, you know, you ended in your paper. You know, my dear colleagues, when my students defend their paper, they don't say, let me start with chapter one. What do they normally do? To the members of the panel, ito ang sinasabi nila, allow me to share with you the context of this paper. At this point, allow me to advance the arguments of the paper. At this point, allow me, of course, to share with you the procedural dimension of my paper. And at this point, allow me to highlight now the salient substantial aspect of the paper. And finally, allow me to underscore the directional aspect of the paper. So ganun nung karaniwan ang mga advices ko kapag sila ay nagdi-defend ng paper. So my dear colleagues, I am of course, you know, highlighting now the one of argumented argumentation. Why? Because if your chapter two is something weak, I would say that the rest of the chapters are also weak. Ang pundasyon ng isa namang, isang pag-aaral ay nakasalig sa chapter two. Many people would say chapter two only thickens, pinapakapal lang niya ang inyong pag-aaral. But I'm giving you now, of course, you know, the exact you know, reason why chapter two becomes a form of investment. Why? Because this is where you underscore the arguments of the paper. And you would notice, look at my title, my dear colleagues, is how to write a cogent literature review. Are you ready now? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Take yes. notes, it's not about the how, it's all about the why. Right. You are writing or doing your chapter two, it's not because you are thickening your paper, but you are, of course, you know, making a cogent literature review because you want to advance an argument. You know, I love the ver I love the adjective cogent because when you say something is cogent, it means something is convincing. You need to convince the members of the panel that your paper is worth reading, that your paper is worth, you know, pursuing. Kaya minsan po ang mga proposals sa graduate school, you know, get to be rejected. Why? Because the members of the panel don't seem to see that there is a new argument being advanced. And never, you know, the panel members were convinced by the literature review that there is a need to go, that, to go up to, of course, you know, to proceed with that paper. Lagi niyong tinatanong sa inyong literature review, kapag ako po ay nag deliver ng isang proposal, ang una kong binabasa ang chapter 2. Hindi ang chapter 1 because chapter 1 is, like, is just like an icing on the cake. It's more of the chapter 2. It is in chapter 2 where we see the meat of the paper. Gusto ko makita doon, karapat dapat bang aralin itong paper na to? Is there really a need to do the paper? Is there really a need to do the paper now. So therefore, my dear colleagues, why are we doing chapter two? 
Why? Because you would like to convince the members of the panel that your present undertaking is advancing either a research blank spot or a research blind spot. Di ba ho, kapag tayo nagkumunta sa palengke o sa, sa SM, bumibili tayo ng, bibili tayo halimbawa ng blouse o bagong t-shirts. What do we do? We try to look at the display. Yes or no? Yes. We try to look at the design. And I call it as the literature review. You are reviewing what is available now in the hangar. Yes or no? Yes. And then, ang nasabihin mo, meron na ba akong ito o wala pa? Sabi nung nagdidin na sa'yo, ma'am, subukan niyo po ito, bagay po sa inyo. Sabi niya, miss, may ganyan na ako. So therefore, you will not buy it. Miss, subukan niyo po ito, meron akong ganyan. Ganyan ang kulay, pero iba ang design. So in other words, may bago doon sa bagong polong bibilin mo. Yes or no? Pero pag nakakita sa iyo, nakakita kalimbawa ng isang polo, ay wala pa akong ganyan. Kulay, design, and so on and so forth. I'll buy it. And no wonder you were convinced to buy that polo. My dear colleagues, if you are doing a paper, you ask yourselves, am I trying to explore the unexplored? And that is the research blank spot. Or... Am I trying to explore something that has been explored already, but researchers don't seem to agree with one another? In other words, the findings of one paper in Asia is being negated by the findings of the one, you know, in Europe. Kapag nakita niyo yung nagtatalo at nag-iiba-iba ang mga findings ng mga papers, all the more you should be doing another paper on that. But you call that one as the research blind spots. In UST po, pag may defense kami, in the master's level, we normally entertain blind spots. For the doctoral level, we want to make sure that what they are doing is a blank spot or what we call unexplored. Ang ginagawa natin sa research ay yung mga bagay na hindi pa naaaral, that's why you call it unexplored. And no wonder medical researchers now are finding, you know, ways in order for them to develop the best vaccine for COVID-19 because the vaccine for COVID-19 remains to be unexplored. Kaya siya tinawag na blank spot. Or there may be an existing research already, but you don't seem to agree with one another. And no wonder we call this one as conflicting areas or what we call blind spots. My dear colleagues, are you learning? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. That's why, allow me to invite you once again to go back to how we define research. And I believe that this is, this, of course, you know, this is my favorite definition of research, which is advanced by the Australian Research Council. Tinan niyo po, ah, napakaganda. It is the creation of new knowledge and or existing knowledge in a new and creative way so that a new so that we can generate new concepts, methodologies, inventions, and understandings. Okay. Right. Let's try, of course, to dissect the definition of research according to the Australian Research Council. I love the first part. When you are in research, what, 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 actually, what exactly are you doing? You are creating a new knowledge, either a blank spot or a blind spot. Correct? And where do we see this one? You get to see this one in the literature review. When you start reading chapter two or literature review, the members of the panel will be convinced. Ah, agree ako dyan. He is really creating something new in terms of blind spots or in terms of blank spots now. Saan nakikita yung creation? Sa literature review. Let's proceed to the next definition now. In a new and creative way. In other words, how will you create now that new knowledge? And this can be reflected now in chapter 3 of your paper, which is the method section of your work. Kaya pag maganda yung literature review mo, it will direct you on the method section. Kapag gusto mong gumawa ng isang bago, dapat yung methods mo bago pa rin. Correct? Because new begets new. If love begets love. Old begets old. But new begets new. Look at the last you know, part of the definition. To generate new concepts methods, inventions, and understandings. Business administration and education are not coming from the sciences. If you come from the sciences, 
you of course, you know, develop new inventions. But if we come from education and business administration, we do research because we want to develop or generate new concepts. We want, of course, to develop new understandings. At saan makikita ito sa inyong chapters? Makikita niyo yan doon sa findings and discussion. Kapag nag-defend na kayo ng inyong thesis, ang hahanapin ng mga panel members, may bago ba dito? May bago nga kaya? Tingnan nga natin. And we read the findings and discussion. That's why to the members here of the faculty, when you, whenever you do some proposal defense, you concentrate on the literature review. But when you, of course, and the method section, but when you have your final defense, don't question the method anymore. Don't question the literature review. What you should be questioning now in the final oral defense is the findings and discussion. Why? Because you have already approved the proposal. So why are you questioning literature review? Why are you questioning them the methods? So therefore, kapag mali ang findings and discussion ng estudyante, sinong sisisihin? Estudyante o panel member? The panel members. Mubulong mga estudyante. Panel members ang sisisihin. Bakit? Pinayagan mo eh. Kasalanan mo. That's why, you know, I believe the most critical phase is the proposal. Kaya po ako, pag member ako ng proposal, may pit ko ako. I always make sure that the one you're going to do is correct. And by the time the defense comes, ano sabi ko as chair of the panel, I would like to welcome you all to the oral defense of John Aldrin Antonio. Our purpose for this afternoon is to appreciate the findings of the paper based on our recommendations during the proposal stage. May I remind the members of the panel, no more recommendations for lit review. No more recommendations for the method section because we are done with it in the proposal stage. Our role in the final defense is to find out if the one in the proposal is responded to very well in the findings and discussion of the paper. Question made, dear colleagues, are you happy or are you being threatened? Yes or no? Happy. Happy, that's good. Okay, now, today's webinar participants is composed of two majors, the one coming from education and the one from business administration. Am I correct, Dr. Neri? It's yes, education yes. and yes, the sir. one of business administration. Yes, Ito po. In order for you to come up with a very good paper, ang unang-unang tinatanong lagi, do you subscribe as an institution to the most powerful databases in the world? What did I tell you a while ago? The literature review is the heart of any proposal because that would tell us if there's something new in the paper. We could not blame our students for coming up with the lousy write-up of their, of their proposal if the institution cannot provide them with good databases. I have not seen, of course, the databases of Chiang Kai-shek, but allow me, of course, to ask you now, because you are, of course, an insider in Chiang Kai-shek. Are you subscribing to Clarivate Web of Science as an institution? Does your institution subscribe to Scopus journals? Do you have an EBSCO database? Do you subscribe to ProQuest? Are you also subscribing to WorldWideScience.org? These are the top five major databases that I think graduate school libraries must have. Web of Science, Scopus, ProQuest, EBSCO, and the WorldWideScience.org. So kung wala pa po kayo nung isa dyan, ang aking pong recommendation, since some of your administrators are here, you start including this as part of your budget so that your students will be able, of course, to access very good journals. Ang next question po ay ganito. How mindful now are the students of your graduate school in the use of the most influential academic publishers? Take notes. I am a computer teacher, and in computer, we always say, garbage in, garbage out. Kapag pangit ang database, pangit din ang ating proposal. Pag pangit ang ginamit nating mga references, pangit din ang mga proposal. Agree or disagree? Agree. Agree. So therefore, allow me of course to ask now the members of our graduate school students, are you mindful in the use of your references? And I believe that many of our students here would normally get articles from Google. Yes or no? 
Yes, sir. Basta may nakita kayo doon kung anong tamaan ng mata, yun ang kukunin nyo, da-download nyo sa site nyo na. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, yes parang yes, ito lang yun. Namili, okay. namili ka sa SM, namili ka halimbawa sa Rustans, or sa Evergutesco, or sa Save More. Siyempre, kung gusto mo ng pinakamagandang produkto, you go to Rustans. That's why, let me now ask those who are writing their thesis. How many of your citations are were coming from Wiley journals? How many of them are coming from Elsevier? How many of them are coming from Emerald, Sage, Blackwell, Rutledge, or if, the, if not, the one of Springer? Now, I think what is the implication? Probably, you can now start asking your chief librarian or your head librarian, how many journals you know, do we have in business administration and education coming from Wiley, coming from Elsevier, coming from Blackwell, coming from Rutledge, coming from Springer now? And I would like, of course, to tell you now, one of the most expensive databases is the one of Sage, okay? Sage Journal is one of the most, you know, expensive databases that we have. Pero po sa hapong ito, Dr. Neri, gusto kong bigyan ng regalo ang mga faculty at ang mga estudyante. I would like, of course, you to receive, of course, before we start the Holy Week, the gift from Doc Alan to the Chiang Kai-shek family. What is that, of course, gift I am referring to? Are you excited for the gift? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. I'm a regular reviewer of Sage journals, particularly in the Journal of Aging and Health. And one of the privileges, if you are a regular reviewer of articles in different journals of Sage, is you have the free access to its database. So I would like to share now to the members of Chiang Kai-shek family my username and my password in order for you to enjoy access to all Sage journals. Are you happy? Yes. Yes, 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 thank you, sir. Yes. Super. Okay. Thank you, po. Thank you, sir. And please yes, take sir. note when you take when you get articles now from Sage using the account of Doc Alan, you may be able to access all the journals from 1898 to the year 2021. Imagine, panahon pa huya ng himagsikan 1898 to the one of 2021. Are you excited? Yes. 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 So, in order for you to access journals coming from Sage, and I'm pretty sure there are a good number of journals in education, in, la in, in language education, even in business administration. Be sure you are logged in as Alan de Guzman. Hindi kayo makakapasok pag hindi kayo nakalog in kay Alan de Guzman. So, my dear colleagues, pakilabas lamang po ang yung mga cell phones at pakikuna na lang po ang ating screen. Are you ready? Yes, I would like you, of course, now to take notes. If you want, of course, to have access to the one of to the one of the privilege of Doc Alan, I want you to log in in www.uk.sagepub.com slash reviewers access. Anyone can go to SagePub, but remember there is another forward slash because there is another pathway that is only, of course, good for the reviewers to access. That's why I'm sharing with you. This one. Nakuna na huba ng lerawan? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. mga tunog na mga cellphone ninyo. No, ang lalakas na mga tunog. Okay, so once you are there, what are you supposed to do now? There are actually three frames there. One is my account. The next one is institutional access. And the third one is activate your account. I believe that Chiang Kai-shek doesn't have an access yet to Sage Journal. So you will not have the second frame. What you will do now is to use the account of Doc Alan, which is my account. So what do you do now? I want you, of course, to type there my email address, doc underscore alan at yahoo.com. And then, of course, the system will ask you to enter your password now. And my password is gerontology2018 with small e. Kunan agad ng inyong mga cellphone. Doc underscore Alan at yahoo.com and my password is gerontology2018 small e. Take note, gerontology start with, uh, with the capital G and of course, you know, with the small e after 2018. Are you, are you excited? Yes. 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 Sige po. Meron lang po akong request sa mga estudyante at sa mga faculty members. Very simple request. Please. 
please, do not change my account's password. <laughs> Bakit po? I'm sharing this for free. I'm supposed, of course, to not to enjoy this on my own. Yes or no? Because I am a reviewer. Yes. But I'm sharing this with you. Pero minsan po, may mga tao po na nakaka-access dito na gustong palitan ang account ko po. Kaya from time to time, I get to have some message from Sage ang nakalagay po doon sa email nila sa akin. Dear Dr. Alan, please be informed that there is a forced, forced, take note of the word, forced, you know, attempt to change your password. So, Kapag nakadisip po ako ng ganon, I normally change my password. Hindi na hunin niyo mabubuksan ang aking Sage account. Okay po ba yan? Yes, Dok. Oo, kung baga sa ano, pinagamit na lang, kinuha pa, ako pang nanakawan. <laughs> Sige po. So I'm just sharing this one with you because I cannot read all the journals or the articles there. So I hope my Alanic request is granted by the members of the group. Okay. Pag nakapasok na po kayo doon, you will see this screen. Claim my free access. Pakiclick lang po yung submit because you'll be given now the offer code. Click submit and once you click submit now, you now you will now see that you are logged in as Alan De Guzman here and you will see now that there are several disciplines. Education and business administration belong to the social sciences and humanities. So you might as well limit your search to that particular discipline. Then, similar to other databases, you may now start doing your searching. So just simply click advanced search. And what do you do now? Down below of the advanced search, I hope you can, of course, customize you know, the year because the custom range is normally 1898 to the year 2021. So masyadong marami po ang lalabas dyan. So you may limit it, for example, for the last five years, 2015 to the year 2021. And then I want you, of course, you know, to remember this. The one, of course, you know, that is default value here is the first button, Sage Journals Available to Me. I would like you, of course, you know, to click now the second button, which corresponds to all Sage content. My dear colleagues, please do not blame me if you couldn't access the articles. Why? Because you did not change the button. The default value is the Sage journals available to me. In other words, only, of course, you know, some journals. But if you want to have full access, kindly click all Sage content. Can you follow the, my train of thoughts? Yes or no? Yes. Doctor. Okay, good. Yes, doctor. And then when you are already yes, there, doctor. you now start typing your topic your topic for your thesis. For example, my topic is about information seeking behavior among language learners. And then of course I click it. Now you get to see now all the articles, okay? You would notice there are 141,968 articles. And dami? Yes. And dami po, but please take note. When you don't access you know, the site properly, chances are you will see two kinds of padlocks. One is the gray padlock and the other one is the green padlock. Pag nakita niyo po yung gray padlock, ibig sabihin, you don't have access to it. But if you happen to see the green padlock open, that goes to show the article is free to access. Okay? Can you follow? Yes. 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 Sige po. Halimbawa, I come from yes. business administration and I happen to see now, I get to search their family business. And then you will notice, ilan pong articles, madami kaunti. Sobrang dami. Alam niyo po ba, when you buy an article from, from a journal, they will charge you $17. Mahal o mura? Mahal. Mahal. Pero, kapag kumuha po kayo ng articles sa Sage na Doc Alan, huwag na huwag niyo pong ibebenta kahit 10 or $5. Kasi po, yung nata-download ninyo may nakalagay sa ilalim, downloaded by Alan de Guzman, baka mahuli po ako ng NBI o ng mga police. Maliwanag po ba yun? <laughs> Question, is the article here uh, free or not? Free. 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 So what do I do now? I just simply, of course, click it. Okay? So I will click, for example, this article published in 2020, Developing Culture and Family Business. Okay? I will click it. And I will be prompted to another page. That's the one, of course, you will see. So what do you do now? 
you are supposed to download PDF. Kindly, of course, click this. So once you click now the download PDF, once you click it, now you have the 2020 article for your use. Are you happy? Yes, sir. Are you happy? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Very happy. Okay, what is the right way to go? What should you, of course, be writing first? Chapter 1 or Chapter 2? Chapter 2. Chapter 2. Sige po, ah. Tinan natin ito ngayon. Alam niyo po, as a teacher, I always believe that writing is the most exciting yet the most challenging task to any thesis writer. Bakit po siya exciting? Exciting siya. Bakit? Because you are creating something new. It is quite challenging, especially if you don't know how to do it. Yes or no? Yes. Agree or disagree? Yes, I agree. agree. You know, look, let me use a metaphor. I believe that writing a thesis and wearing a skirt are, are synonymous with one another. Why am I saying this? Ang tanong po ay laging ganito. Anong mahalaga sa pag Mahaba o maikse? Is left a question in thesis? Mahaba. Sila mga panel members. Laman ang po. Laman. Ang nipis-nipis naman itong thesis na to. 50 pages lang. Nung nag-thesis ako, 160. Pwede ba natin ipasa to? My dear colleagues, this is not a question of length. This is a question of substance. Imagine there was even a dissertation done in the U.S. with only 24 pages, but it merited the person a Ph.D. title. Even, of course, you know, in the graduate school of U.S.T., I had a student whose dissertation is only 64 pages, but he was given a grade, a higher, a high grade, and merited a Ph.D. degree. Again, is it a question of length or substance? Substance. substance. More of substance now. At yan po ituturo ko sa inyo. Bakit parang babae na gusto ng, ng, ng palda? Be sure ang mga babae kapag nakapalda, short enough so that something can be seen. But long enough to cover the essentials. Tama ang iksi para may makita kami. So balit sapat ang haba para may maikubli. Agree or disagree? Really? Hindi nakaka-exact yeah, ang isang taong hubot-hubad. Yes or no? Kapag nakakita ka ng taong hubot-hubad, walang thrill. Sa simula, meron. After na, wala ka nang makita. Pero kapag meron pa siyang konting suot, ano sabi mo? Ano pa kaya ang meron doon? The same in writing. Short enough so that something can be seen, but long enough to cover the essentials. So ang tanong ng mga nagsusulat ng thesis, Doc Alan, what should I review? May I, of course, tell you now that whenever you write your thesis, you normally, of course, you know, start and get literature. And you learn this one from your professors. Some of you are using books as your citation. Yes or no? Can we cite books? Yes. 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 We call them conceptual literature. May we cite journal articles? Yes. We call yes. them research literature. Tanong, can we cite defended thesis? Yes. No. You should not be citing them. That's the rule. Even in UST, we don't cite, you know, defended thesis. Why? Because they are unpublished. They were defended, but they are unpublished. That's why we call them gray. Gray. Correct? Ang nag-approve lang non panel member. Unlike, you know, the one being published in journals, uh -huh. were approved by several editors, were approved by several reviewers, and being read by several scholars. Yes or no? Yes, but the po. trend in many graduate school, ang sinasite natin dati ay mga thesis na na-defend. Yes or no? Yes. Sana po ay baguhin na natin itong practice na ito. Why don't you start using conceptual and research literature? Why? What is the gold standard when we are writing, you know, a thesis? 90% of your citations should come from journals and only 10% from books. And this is, of course, you know, our practice, our rule in UST. 90% of your citations in a thesis should be coming from journals and only 10% coming from books. I hope, you know, I am inspiring the group in terms of new practice now. My dear colleagues, I hope you're already on page four of our material. Ganito ang pag -usulat. 
We normally start with your discipline. Where do we belong? Business ad or the one of education? If you are already ready, of course, to write your thesis, ang tanong mo, Doc Alan, what are the major journals in my field? Dapat alam mo mismo, what are these journals in your field? And I'm pretty sure on page four, I'm giving you now the list of what we call academic publishers where you can get the journals of your discipline. Sage, Taylor and Francis, Blackwell, Springer, Wiley, Carfax, and so on and so forth. So sana po maging practice din ng Chiang Kai-shek na yung isa site ng mga estudyante are coming from these journals. Next, from the field of specialization, know now the major journals. Halimbawa, I come from education and I happen to spot a recent article in the Social Psychology of Education published in 2020. So how do I start? Pwede hindi mo na mabasahin ang paper. What do you do now? You now start looking at the title. Tayo po ay mag-window shopping muna. Ang tawag dyan, window shopping. Look at this. From the title, I get to see that self-efficacy, instructional leadership, engagement, emotional exhaustion, and motivation are the topics, are hot topics now in the literature. Why? 2020 eh. Yes or no? Yes, yes. Ibig yes. sabihin, pinag-uusapan pa. And then I proceeded now to another journal published in 2021. Imagine nyo, last month lang po ito na-publish. At nakita ko doon, ito ngayon. Somatic burden, stress, emotional exhaustion, principal leadership, workplace buoyancy. Am I doing a window shopping? Yes. Yes. And then I proceeded to the next article from Wiley. Now I get to see, ay meron palang ganito. Emotional support, teachers' emotional framing, supportive communication strategies. So what do I do now with these things I get to see in the title? Ito ho yung nasa page 4 ng inyong material. Now what you're supposed to do if you're about to start writing your thesis, ilagay mo lahat ngayon itong mga variables na pinag-uusapan recently by the scholars in your discipline. Yes or no? Yes. Ang tanong mga kapatid, from the list of these variables na nakita mo sa mga titles, can you choose them all? Pwede mong kunin lahat? No. No, ang sabi ng advisor mo, ambisyoso ka. <laughs> Hindi mo pwedeng kunin lahat siya. Hindi ka matatapos. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Ano? Can I just simply choose moral, performance, and efficacy? Yes. Pag namili ako ng, ng tatlong na yon, ang tawag natin doon, scope and limitation. Yes or no? Yes. Yun ang sinasabi natin, scope and limitation. Nakapili ka na. From your mm -hmm. literature review, ito lang ang gusto kong bilhin. Ito lang gusto kong aralin. Yes or no? Yes. Yun. So tatlo nang napili ko ngayon. Tanong, do you think three is manageable for a master's thesis? Manageable na ba yun, Sir John? I think so. <laughs> yes, pwede na yan. Pwede yeah, na. They are pwede malawak. na. Undergrad nga, yes. pwede na yung tatlo eh. O, o, sige. Malawak yun eh. Okay, tignan natin ito ngayon. Kapag meron ka ng tatlong na pili, what do you do now? You now start building your conceptual framework. So, dan po gumagawa tayo ng conceptual framework na. Why? The conceptual framework, if you look at our definition, simply tells us on the main things that you would like to study or investigate. So, in this case, you are investigating moral, self-efficacy beliefs, and the one of work performance. Ang tanong ngayon, anong gagawin mo ngayon? Simple hypothesis ba? Or what we call complex? Pag sinayo kong simple ang hypothesis ng inyong paper, it only involves two variables. Correct? But if your thesis has three or more variables, ang gagawin po natin ay complex hypothesis. I hope the master students, of course, can differentiate a simple from a complex. Pag dalawa lang inaaral nyo, simple lang yon. Kapag three or more, anong tawag doon? It's a oh. complex study now. Can you follow? Yes. Again, sa simple, yes. ilan po ang ating variables? Dalawa po. Sa complex, ilan ang inaaral? Three or more. Okay, tiyanan po po. Ano, ilan ang inaaral ko dito? Dalawa. 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 Simple complex. Simple. Where is the arrowhead pointed? A or B? 
B. 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 Therefore, what is A? What is B? Independent, dependent. B. B. Dependent, dependent. Yon. Hindi na natin ginagamit ang dependent ngayon. Ang ginagamit natin yung term ay endogenous variable. Ah. And then, if you of course look at the independent, we just simply refer to what we call exogenous variable. Where the arrow head is pointed, that's your dependent variable. At yung A and B na yan, yan po yung ating conceptual framework. Yan ang aaralin ng inyong thesis. Tanong, ilan ang, ilan ang arrow? Isa. Therefore, ilan ang hypothesis mo sa paper mo? Isa. Isa din. One. What is my what is my paper? Simple or complex? Simple. 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 Ano yan? Pang senior high school, pang, pang undergrad? Pang undergrad. Senior high school. Pag tatlo, <laughs> pag tatlo pwede na yung ano, a, a college or if not master's undergrad. level. Sige, look at this one. Tanong, simple complex? Complex. 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 Why? How many are involved? Three. 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 If I follow now the one with the red arrow, how many exo do I have? One. One. How many one. exo? One. If one. I use the red? Two. I two. 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 B and C. Two. How many two. endo? One. One. What? Sige po. Simple complex. Simple. Complex. Complex. Simple lang. Simple. Dalawa lang eh. Simple. Dalawa lang. Ay, naman, ah, ito oh, pala. Oh. Yung akala ko yung kanina, oh. sir. Kailan ba kayo nagpunta sa ano, executive optical? Okay. <laughs> Dalawa lang po yan. So, simple lang yan. O, sige, tanong ko ngayon. I have employee morale and work performance. Between the two, which one is my exogenous? Ah. Exo. Work performance. Work performance. Work performance. De, exo eh. Pag exo po, ang sabi natin ng exo, independent. Ay, independent. Ah, employee moral. Yun. And which one is our dependent? The work, work, performance. Work, performance. Work, performance. work performance. Anong tawag sa drawing natin? Conceptual Except framework. Hindi ho natin pwedeng gamitin yung input, process, output. Maraming ganyan mga thesis na ginagawa. Input, process, output. Yes or no? Yeah. Hmm. Hindi po yun, mga kapatid. Hindi po tinatanggap sa international journals. Maliwanag po. Ah. Ito po ang paggawa ng conceptual framework, especially for quantitative papers. Ang ibang tawag po ngayon dyan ay hypothesized model. So you call it conceptual framework. Iba po ang conceptual framework sa theoretical framework. Ang theoretical framework is your theory to use to explain your paper. But the conceptual framework contains the variables that you would like to study. It is the conceptual framework or hypothesized model. Again, my dear colleagues, I would like to reiterate the input process output should not be used when making the conceptual framework. Yes or no? Yes. Anong? Simple complex? Complex. 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 How many endo? <laughs> How many endo? Three. Endo, endo. One. Isa lang. One. 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 Oh, oh. One. How many exo? Dalawa. 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 Ang karaniwang ginagawa niyong hypothesis ay ganito. Yes or no? There is no yeah. significant relationship yeah. between yeah. employee morale and work uh -huh. performance. Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> Hindi na po ginagamit yan, mga kapatid. Okay, so what do we do? Ang dapat po ay ganito. High employee morale leads to better work performance. Kasi po, importante that you indicate the behavior of each of the variable. Remember, each one here is the one of EM and the one of WP. Yes or no? Yes. And there is an arrow connecting the two. And we label it as H1. Ang paggawa ng conceptual framework ko ngayon, nilalagyan ng label na H1, H2. Para kita natin, ano yung hypothesis ng paper? Can you follow? Yes, sir. Yes. How I wish, Dr. Neri, I can have a separate session with the students on how to do, of course, hypothesizing. Yes. Because, you know, the two-hour period may not be enough. Next. Mm -hmm. Next. Ilan pong hypothesis ko sa aking conceptual framework? Sa pa lang. Sa lang. Pero sa aking concept, sa aking diagram, ilan dapat? Dalawa. Dalawa. Kasi dalawa yung arrow ko. Arrow. Yes or no? 
Yeah. Yes. Okay. So again, ito ba yung dati o luma o bago? Luma. 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 Ano dapat ang bago? High self-efficacy beliefs leads to better work performance. Dapat alam nyo kung ano yung behavior ng bawat isang variable. Correct? Are you learning? Yes. 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 Next. Tinan po natin ito ngayon. Mm. Simple complex. Simple. 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 Ang tawag dyan, one to one. Okay? Tanong, pwede ba akong gumawa ng ganito? Pwede. Pwede. Ang tawag dyan, many to one. <laughs> Correct? Yes. Especially yeah. if you belong to language education, pwede kong gawin yung A, B, C are all affecting D. So sa apat kong variables, ano kaya ang D dyan? Is it reading comprehension, vocabulary, interest or attitude? Yes, pwede. Ano ang aking D? D. Reading comprehension. Correct. Comprehension is affected by vocabulary. Vocabulary. Affected by interest. Affected by where you are. Or... Pwede bang ganito yung paper ko? Yes. Tignan nyo to. I want you, my dear colleagues, to understand this. Your conceptual framework must be, of course, ma must match your title. Tignan nyo yung title ngayon sa conceptual framework. Tanong? Wala naman ah. Ayan po, meron na po. Taas <laughs> po. <laughs> Kita nyo po ba? Yes. Yes. O, tinan niyo mga factors. What are these factors? Altruism, social support, death perception, self satisfaction. Correct? Yes. Yan ang exo ko. Yung job stress, mediating variable ang tawag natin dyan, di ba? Sa gitna eh. Meron bang nag-mediate na nasa gilid? Ang nag-mediate lagi sa gitna. Ang mediator lagi sa tagapagitna. Yung moral, yan ang aking endo. Kaya makikita niyo po sa mga journal articles, ganyan po ang hypothesis model. Kaya dapat palitan na po natin yung input, process, output natin kasi hindi po tinatanggap yan sa mga journals. Maliwanag po. Eh, pag hindi po mahal yung school. Ano po? Baka hindi po mahal yung school. Meron sila yung format. Ah, man, hindi po. Hindi po pinag-uusapan ng format. Ang pinag-uusapan po dito, kung ano yung tama. <laughs> yes, pero ma'am, pero sa school, hindi na our school. In our school, usually we follow the traditional. Okay. So, kaya ang suggestion ko po sa inyo is for you, of course, to start revisiting the old practice and start formulating new policies. Okay. Thank you. Kasi po sa USD dati, ganun din kami, input process. Inagising na kami sa katotohanan. Mali pala yun. Correct? Kasi sir, hanggang ngayon, ganun pa rin kami. Opo. So, pwede po nating baguhin yun. Okay? Unti, unti, unti. Unti-unti. Tama unti, po ang sabi ni Dr. Yun. Neri. Unti-unti. Okay. Okay. okay, next. Kasi sir, uh, sa pinanggalingan ko din, uh, sa kapagturo ako, uh, 41 years ako sa CEU, sir. Alam na alam mo po Apo. yun. Tapos uh, <laughs> nagturo din kami sa iba't ibang universidad, sa Adamson, Correct. sa MLQU. Alam niyo po, nung pinatawag kami ng CHED, uh, simpleng-simpleng sinabi niya na iginagalang namin ang bawat identity at ang kaugalian ng bawat skwela. Pero kung nasa sa iyo, unti-unti naman, po pwede, hindi biglaan, hindi biglaan. Correct. Dahil, totoo po, naniniwala ko sa inyo, kasi po, uh, kahiyahiya man, uh, napakayaman ng UST, napakayaman, tatlong, sul tatlong suso. Sila po ang mayaman, hindi po ako. <laughs> o nga eh, sa kanila, Merong morning session, may afternoon session, merong evening session. Eh napakayaman. Kaya yung mga binabanggit nyo po ng mga journals at kung ano-ano. Meron kami noon, dalawa, tatlo. Kasi napakamahal po yan. Napakamahal. Yes. Oh, oh, kaya nga po, sinare ko sa inyo, ma'am. Kaya ang po, sinare ang sage para po oh, makakuha oh, oh, po kayo oh. ng maraming journal articles. Oh, Doon pa alam, mayaman na. Siyang kay sage. <laughs> dahil po magnanimous ang board of trustees natin napakabait napaka selfless pero ba diba, uh, wala hindi po ako mayayang sabihin lahat po nung naka-enroll sa amin Sir Alan ko Doc scholars Alan, po 50% yan scholars pa kaya nga po kaya ako po, po coming po, from po, coming from a big school I'm sharing po, with you whatever resources po. we have Opo, pero unti, unti, unti. Pero totoo, tama ka kasi po kami, 
napakahalaga sa amin ng RLL, Related Literature, Related Learnings. At mahalagang mahalaga din, talagang maski noon naman, directly, una lang namin tinatapos yung intro. Pero talaga pong by way of uh, particular uh, idea sa namin kinuha yun, Siyempre, marami kaming mga related literature at napaka-lofty din naman ng library namin. Dangan ngayon at medyo may pandemic. Pero hindi po kami pumapayag na ang RLL ay kasintanda ko. Hindi po mga 3 years, 5 years, ganun po. Pero unti-unti kasi nga po, umaasa kami sa magnanimiti ng aming board of trustees. Sa totoo lang, kasi po napakamura ng matikula at napakara. Yung education namin, Sir Alan, lahat po yun, scholar, may buwanan pa yung alawan. Kaya talaga magpapasalamat ka sa mga... I do respect that you're using the IPO model. Okay. But my concern now, if ever your school would like to have the papers submitted to a journal abroad, that would become very problematic now. That's why, sabi nga po ni Dr. Neri, unti-unti. One of the basic things I learned when I had my PhD educational management in UST is I, I learned the philosophy of change. Philosophy of change states, gradual enough for the adjustment of the few, but enough momentum so that results can be seen within a given time frame. Hindi ngayon, hindi bukas babaguhin. Darating yon unti-unti. Philosophy of change. Okay? So, sana po ay makita niyo po yung ginagawa ninyo na IPO sa makabago na dapat na ginagawa po natin ngayon. Okay? So, next. Are you still learning? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. O, tingnan niyo po ito. How many variables do I have? Two. 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 What are these variables? Employment morang. And work performance. How many arguments or hypotheses do I have? One. 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 What is my argument? Relationship, effect, or difference? Significant effect, significant relationship, significant difference. Effect. 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 Direct effect. Pero paano tinan yung hypothesis ko ngayon? A higher employee morale leads to better work performance. Or... Tignan nyo ngayon. Anong research title ko ngayon? Relationship between employee morale and work performance among bank employees in Makati. Saan kinukuha ang research title? From your conceptual framework. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-title pag wala ka mang framework. Pero yung iba, may title na wala pang framework. Ang tawag ko doon, hallucination. Correct? <laughs> <laughs> Nanggagaling ang title mula sa framework. Tingnan nyo. Look at the title. Look at this. I have three now. Correct? This is my first hypothesis, second yes. hypothesis. Mm. Tingnan nyo nga kung nailagay ko yung nando sa diagram, sa title ko, Relationship of Employee Morale and Self-Efficacy Beliefs to Work Performance Among Bank Employees in Makati. Sa title, kita kong exogenous. Sa title, kita kong endogenous. Sa title, kita ko yung argument ko. Ang argument ko sa paper is to establish relationship between and among the three. Sa title ko, kita ko yung subject ko. Sa title ko, kita ko yung study local. Kaya pag pinagsama-sama ko yan, ang tawag dyan, research title. Exogenous plus endogenous plus argument, subject and study local is a title. Parang si Alan po. My first name is my first name is Alan. My middle name is De Belen. My last name is De Guzman. My full name is Alan De, Gu De Belen De Guzman. Ama? For a while po. Can you hear me? Opo. Okay. So, so, so saan galing ang title? From the... Conceptual framework. Conceptual. Yun. Pero minsan, may title na wala pang framework. Yes or no? Yes. 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 Minsan may pangalan na yung anak mo, wala ka pa namang boyfriend pala. Ang tawag doon, hallucination. <laughs> uh, it's a requirement. You have to send it. You Pag nabuntis to... na at nanganak, saka mo bigyan ng pangalan. Pero meron you iba, may pangalan na, wala pang ano. Sabi mo, alam mo, ang papangalan ko sa anak ko ay ganito. <laughs> Kasi nga po, we never question the practice. The role of any school is to question its practice. 
without questioning the practice, improvements cannot be, of course, realized. Are you learning? Correct. Yes. O, yes. tingnan natin to, ha. Tanyo sa journal na to, ha. Tingnan niyo po ang kanilang conceptual framework. Pareho ba? Tama po ba? Correct. Correct. Hmm. Tinan nyo itong na-publish na to. Pareho ba? Correct, yes. di ba? No? Correct. Correct. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Conceptual framework. Correct. Yeah. Pareho ba? Tama po ba? Yeah. Yes. Next. Pare tama po ba? Mm -hmm. Match po. So tinan niyo po ngayon yung, yung ginagawa, di ba? Kaya po kinu-question natin yung IPO, it does not reflect the one of the title. Correct? Okay. 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 Sige po. Tinan niyo po itong na-publish kong paper. Tama ba yung aking title saka sa conceptual framework ko? Hindi ko binanggit ang social isolation, social engagement, and life satisfaction sa title na hahaba. Ano ginamit yung word? Correlates. Predictors. Correct? I can look for a term that can of course you know, lump them together. Yes or no? Yes. Is loneliness part of my title? Yes. Yes. How many hypotheses do I have in this paper? Three. Five. Five po. H1, <laughs> H2, H3, H4, H5. There are H5. five. H5. Okay, okay. There are meron five. Meron po. <laughs> meron, meron, meron. Sorry. Okay. O, tanong ko po mga kapatid. Saan po ito? Undergrad? Masters? PhD? Masters. PhD. Undergrad po yan. Ano? Nakita niyo po yung mga estudyante sa ilalim? These are my advices in the undergrad, in the College of Nursing. Grad school. Hindi po grad school yan, ma'am. It's College of Nursing po yan. Undergrad. Kasi halos. Kaya nakita niyo po, kapag yung advisor, maalam sa research, even an undergraduate paper may be published in a very good journal. Yes or no? Correct. Yes. Correct. Sige po. Oh, ang tanong natin ganito. Tanong ko po sa inyo, in this paper, how many variables were investigated? Three. Three. Five. Four. 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 Bilangin nyo po yung bilog. Pag tinanong yung variable, bilangin yung bilog. Pag tinanong yung hypothesis, bilangin yung arrow. <laughs> Are you learning? Yes or no? Yes, four. Yes. Thank Ilan you. po inaaral ko dito? Five. Four. Four. Four lang. Four. 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 Tanong, ilan yung tinetest ko dito? Four. Four. Five. 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 Ang tinetest five. Ang tinetest five. Ang tinetest five. Tanong, ilan ang exo ko? Three. Yun. Ilan ang endo ko? One. One. Ang tanong, One. paano ko susulatin yung chapter 2 ko? Tingnan nyo to. Is my paper simple complex? Simple. Simple. Ay, simple. 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 Walang simple. Eh. Simple. 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 simple lang yan. Ilan ang, ilan ang hypothesis ko? Isa. Isa lang. <laughs> Ilan yung aking literature <laughs> review? Napansin yung 2.2.1? 2.2.2? Mm -mm. Apo. Yun. Kung ano yung nandun sa diagram, yun lang ilalagay, yun lang re-reviewin mo. Nagtataka ako minsan sa mga thesis, Ay, oh, ang dami-daming okay. re-review. Wala okay. naman doon sa larawan. Oh. Ano naginip ang tawag doon? Oh. Sir, kailangan po ba lagi may larawan? Yes, Ay, oo naman. Kasi sa, the, sa the panel members would like to know what exactly you are investigating. Kaya tinawag na conceptual framework. Okay? Look at this. Nagmamatch? 
Yes. Yes. Yan. Tinan natin to. Nag-match? Yes. yes po. Kaya pag panel member po kayo, tatlo lang yung nandun sa diagram, yes. huwag na po kayong magpadagdag ng ibang variables. Yun lang pong nandoon sa, la- sa picture. Can you all follow? Sana all. Sana all po Sana kagaya all. nyo. Opo. Sige Sana po. Sana ganyan din ang maging paper ko po. <laughs> Sige po. <laughs> Next. Tinan niyo po ito. Tama ba? Nag-match ba? Ang ginawa ni Doc A? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes po. Panel members, huwag na po kayo maghirap ng iba. Kung ano lang po nandoon, yun lang po ang i-review. Ano, <laughs> okay? Um, Sige po. Tanong mga kapatid. Okay pa po kayo para matuto? Yes po. Okay. Yes. So, paano sulatin ngayon? Doc, sabihan nyo rin po yung taga-taf na ganyan. Si, si, ah, taga-taf. Yung tinga. Diba? Sinabi nga. Opo. Unti-unti naman. Sabi naman ni Dr. Neri, unti-unti. Mas gradual po tayo. Oo. oo. <laughs> gradual po yan. Matututunan yeah, din po natin yan. Oo. Oh, 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 oh. At malay niyo po, invite ako ni Dr. Neri magturo sa inyo ng research method. Hindi matuto- makukorek na natin. Correct? Yes. Okay. So, sige po. Tinan po natin to. Ano dapat unang sulatin? Chapter 1, chapter 2? Chapter 2. Two. Chapter 2. Kapag nagpapagawa ng bahay, ano ang mahalaga sa inyo? Yung ilalim o yung ibabaw? Ilalim. Ilalim. Hindi ka nagsisimula sa bubong. Eh. Yes po. Kaya minsan may mga thesis po nagsisimula sa title. Wala pa namang chapter 2. Babagsak talaga. Parang building. Yes or no? Yes. Why? Tinan nyo ngayon. Ang foundation ng isang building. I met an engineer. But this is how of course you know they construct building. Wala. Ang dating layers ng isang foundation. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Hindi lang tinatampak mo ng garden soil yan. May mga layers po yan. Because you want to make sure that anything that you will of course construct will be very stable. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. That's why let me now give, with, give now the members of the group the trade secrets of Doc Alan in writing. Gusto niyo bang matutunan ng sekreto ko sa yes, pagsulat? Yes. Tanong, should secrets be shared? Yes. No. Yes. Because once it is shared, it is no longer a secret. <laughs> you want to. But you want to. Pero share your knowledge, di ba po? O kaya nga ako nandito, di ba? O kaya i-share ko na. Pero secret pa rin natin yan. Okay ba? Okay po. Wala sa libro yan ng research. Nakikita niyo yan sa practitioners. Okay? My first secret now in research is this. Tanong, ang grammar ba kailangan sa pag-usulat? Oh, good po, grammar? Sir. Oh, naman. Oh, po. What about good logic? Yes. Oh, good Para sa title, sir. Yes. yes. Lalo na sa title niyo kanina, sir. Correct. What about coherence? Yes. What about yes. organization? Yes. What about practice? Yeah. What about committing mistakes? Normal. Yun. <laughs> Importante ang mag-commit ng mistakes. Yeah. Pero, what is may alanic tip now? Okay? So, tandaan nyo itong aking ginawang paper. Ilan oh. ang aking inaaral? Four. Ilan ang tinetest ko? Four. Yan. Five. Yan. Sumagot, no? Pag inaaral, yung variable. Yung tinetest, yung hypothesis. Can you all follow? Yes, yes. Tanong, yes. wagawa ako ng folder ngayon sa desktop ko. Each folder will contain articles for each of these variables. Sabi kasi natin, foundation to eh. So dapat marami kang ipon. Yes or no? Oh, yes. Yun. More, more reading. Di, yeah, more reading yan. So what do you do now? I want you, of course, to learn now how to or how to how, my my first trade secret now keeping a good research database. Karaniwan sa mga advisors ganito. O oh, sige, ina-approve ko na yung title mo. In one month's time, I want to see your chapter one. Ganon ka agad. Pag ako po kumukuha ng advice, binibigyan ko ng training yan para nakakasundo kami. Unless the advisor and the advisee are in the same wavelength, you will not be able to come up with a good tandem. Yes or no? Yes. Teamwork yan. Pag mahina ang advisee, magaling ang advisor, gagaling. Yes or no? Yes. Pag magaling ang advisee, mahina ang advisor, hihina ang advisee. Pero pag magaling ang advisor, magaling ang advisee, ay nako, perfect yan. Perfect. 
Combo. Perfect. So, paano gagawin natin? Kaya dapat ang advisor laging malakas. Okay? So, one of course, you know, strength is keeping a good research database. Halimbawa, tinan niyo po ito. What I normally do, Dr. Neri, with my advices nope. is huh? once I approve, what I do, I normally do. I ask them to gather more literature. Okay? Once they gather the literature, I normally ask them to tabulate each article. Importanting matabulate yan. In the first column, you plot the authors. Second column, you put the title of the paper. In the third column, I want you to see, I want you to indicate where the paper was done. Where was it conducted? In what local? Correct? And in the last column now, I want you to indicate the major findings of the paper. Importante po, pag nagbasa tayo ng article, alam natin yung findings ng bawat isang article. Yes or no? Kaya nga tinawag niya MA. What is MA? Master. You have mastered already the field. Yes or no? Can you follow? Yes po. Or, tinan niyo po ito. Tanong, nakagather na ako ng articles. Meron na ba ako nagather? Yes or no? Opo. Meron na. So, anong gagawin ko ngayon? Kukumpile ko siya sa folder. Tama ba? Yes. Pagka-compile, huwag niyong kalimutan. Basahin niyo rin. Kasi misa, kinukumpile niyo lang, hindi binabasa. Yes or no? Yes! Ang yayari yan. Sabi ng mga sudyante ko, Sir, nakakuha ko 50. Tanong ko, nabasa mo ba? Ay, Sir, babasahin ko ba? Sabi ko, anong gusto mo ako magbasa? Kailangan, you compile and you read. Bakit? Kasi po, pag nabasa nyo na, ganito ang gagawin natin. Di ba pag may article tayo sa PDF, nag-highlight ba kayo kapag naka-print na? Opo. Opo. Highlight siya. Sa sobrang highlight nyo ng limampung articles, nung magsusulat ka na, hindi mo na alam saan mo nabasa yon. Pero alam mo, may nabasa kang ganun. Yes or no? Oo. Anong ginagawa ko po ganito? Kapag PDF yan, ginagawa ko po ay ganire. I ask them to open a Word file document and prepare their database. Do you remember this? Ito yung article. Di ba kung PDF yan, nakita ko sa nabasa ko, ay mahalaga to. What do I do? I copy this. I copy this. Yan ang lecture notes ko ngayon. Hindi ko na ngayon bubuksan yung article ko. Kasi nakompile ko na sa Word file ko lahat ng importante tungkol sa article na yon. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Parang ganito po. I'm suggesting this that this could be a good practice at Chiang Kai-shek in the years to come na paggawin ng mga estudyante na thesis writers ng database. So paano po ang itsura ng database? One, palagay nyo ngayon yung title ng article following APA. Next, pakuha nyo yung objectives ng article. Next, what are the variables investigated in that article? Next, where was it done? Saan ang local ng paper? And then, ilagay din kung ano yung sino yung mga respondents or subjects. Then, in the next, in the next row now, dito nyo po ilalagay anong methods na ginamit nung, nung author. And then the last one, ito yung pinakamahaba. Dito kayo magle-lecture notes. Dito nyo kukunin yung pinakamahalagang statements ng buong article. Can you follow? Yes. Ganyan na po yung pinapractice ng mga sudyante ko. Parang ganito, where do we get now, you know, our entries from all the parts of the paper? Kaya dapat binabasa talaga yung paper. Okay? And I think the English majors who are present in this afternoon session will agree with me, our scanning skills will always come into play. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, yes po. Sa intro, makikita mo na makabot yun eh. What are these most important? You might be asking me the question, Doc Alan, hindi ba magkapatagal ng proseso yung sinasabi mo na mag-database pa kami? Tinan niyo po ang importance ngayon ng database. Look at this paper now of one of my advice, of my advices in the undergrad. Undergrad po ito ulit. Okay? Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Tinan niyo po yung page 14 ng inyong material. I want you to look at these statements. Have you found these statements? Old age is said to be characterized by an increased risk for acquiring chronic medical conditions, necessitating multiple medications. Napansin niyo po yan? Nilagyan ko po ng brace dyan or bracket. Napansin niyo po? Yes. Anong? May citation ako. 
Yes. Yes. Ilan ang sinait ng mga estudyante ko? Marami. Marami. Isa. One, two, five. Five. five po. Hindi po five. five. Tatlo five. lang. Five. Kasi ang bibilangin nyo yung year, hindi yung tao. Oh, year. Oh, year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sige po. Ilan ang sinait? Tatlo. Tatlo. Ang tawag po natin dyan is the skills to cross-reference. Importante yan. Dati-rate, ang mga Pilipino pag gumagawa ng article, pag nagsasite pa isa-isa lang. Yes or no? Yes po. Yes, but the, but the demand of modern-day publication is to do cross-referencing. Pinagawa ko yun ng database. Yes or no? Yes. Gusto ko makita nyo ngayon ang kahalagahan ng database in doing cross-referencing. This leads us now to the next trade secret of Doc Alan. Di ba ang unang trade secret? Keep a good database. database. Yes or no? Yes po. Kapag may good. database ka na, pwede ka nang mag-dendrogram. What is dendrogramming now? The word dendrogram comes from the word dendro, which means tree. It means a tree diagram. Kumbaga po, sa dendrogramming, para po yung batibot. Ano sabi ng batibot? Pag samasamahin ang pare-pareho, ang magkakatulad ay ating igrupo. Anong sabi ng batibot? Alin, alin, alin ang naiba? Isipin kung alin ang naiba. Isipin mabuti, isipin kung alin, isipin kung alin ang naiba. Okay po. Anong ibig sabihin nun? In your database, makita niyo may mga bullets. Yes or no? Yes. And then, titinan mo ngayon ang magkakapamilya. That's why we, we, we use the word phylum. When we say phyletic, they, it means a group of items belonging to the same family. Kaya tinawag na monophyletic. But there are times, there are statements in your database that may not necessarily be the same, but they may be related. Yes or no? Yes. Ang tawag doon, parapyletic. Tanong, lahat ba tayo ay professional? Yes. So therefore, are we monophyletic or parapyletic? Mono. Mono. Kasi pare-pareho naman tayo. Pinag-isa tayo ng professional. Tanong, pare-pareho ba tayo ng sweldo? Hindi. Kaya ano tayo? Mono or para? Para. Para na. Sige, tinan niyo po ito. How many numbers do I have here? Five. Dendro means three. Kinonek ko na isang bracket. Why am I connecting one and two? Because they are similar. Why am I connecting four and five? Because they are similar also. What is number three? Different. But why am I connecting three, four, and five? Because they are related. Can you follow? Yes. Next. Can you see the screen now? How many numbers do we have? Ten. What can you say about one and three? Similar, related, different. Similar. Similar. Nine. Related. Four and nine. Similar. Similar. Six and eight. Similar. Similar. Five and ten. Similar. Similar. What is two initially? Two. Related. Different. Different. Pero there are some properties of two that may be found in one and three. And the one I'm putting them together. Yes or no? Yes. They are related. Okay. So paano po yan? Gawin natin sa thesis writing. Tanong, should we have a database? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. O, tinan nyo parang may database po ako dito ha. Ilang literature article ang inaral ko? 24. 24. Did I take note? You know, in each of these articles, the major findings. Yes. Ano? Is it possible that finding number one of article one is the same as finding number three of article two? Yes. Yes. Ano yan? Similar, related. Similar. Similar. Is it possible that the finding number three of article one and the finding number one of literature twenty-four may be are are similar? Yes. Yes. Ganun po yun. Kapag may database ka, makikita mo ngayon ano yung mga statements na parehong-pareho 
or if not statements that are related. Can you follow? Yes. Yes. Sige, gawin natin ito ngayon. May database po ako? Yes. Yes. So may database ako ngayon. Dito sa database kong ito, dito ko makikita anong statements ang magkakatulad. Kasi kung magkakatulad sila, can I cross-reference them? Yes. yes. Yon ang ating point po sa hapong ito. That leads us now to the third secret of writing of Doc Alan and my advice is learn the claim evidence formula. Wala pong ganyan sa libro but I have developed this kind of skills or this kind of formula in the course of my teaching, in the course of my advising and even of course you know as editor and reviewer in international journals. So, paano po ang claim and evidence ngayon? Okay. Tinan nyo po ulit tayo. Balik tayo dito ulit. Ilan ang inaaral ni Doc A? Apat. Four. Apat. Four. Tanong, how many folders should I create in order for Four. me, of course, to Four. put my Four. articles? Four. Four. Good. Should I prepare a database for it? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, meron na ako ngayon. So, tinan nyo ito ngayon. Sa aking database, makikita ko ba na meron ako mga articles on social isolation? Yes po. Yes. Tanong, mula sa mga nabasa ko, can I claim? Yes. Yes. Question, who claims? The present researcher or previous researchers? Present. 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 Pero, whenever you claim, should you provide an evidence? Yes. 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 Where do you get this evidence from? Yes. Literature. Babalik ka pa rin doon. Ang trabaho na nagsusulat is to claim. But when you claim, you provide an evidence. And no wonder, when you provide an evidence, you do citation. Correct? Yes. Okay. Ganon din dito. Gagawin ko rin siya sa social engagement. I will also do the same in life satisfaction. And I will also do the same in loneliness. So the more variables you have in your, in your conceptual framework, the more you will claim and the more you will evidence. Tanong, gusto nyo bang matutunan kung paano mag-claim and evidence sa pagsusulat? Yes po. Yes. Tanong ko po, sa siyang kay Chek ba, Sir John, meron po, uh, do you subject the thesis of your students to turn it in software? We are subscribing. We are, we are subscribing. subscribing. We're planning so to important. subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. That's very important, Sir John, because you know, if, they, if you don't subscribe to turn it in, chances are some of the thesis might be approved. And without you knowing it, there are, of course, you know, thesis that are, of course, you know, subject to plagiarism. Act. Because mm -hmm. the purpose of turn it in is to find similarity indices. And uh, just, of course, you know, a, a suggestion similar to what we're doing in UST, what we normally, of course, set there is for them to reach only 8% of similarity, 8 to 10%. Beyond 10%, we normally ask them to paraphrase the statements in their work. Okay? So, how do we claim in evidence now? Gawa lang ho tayo ng example. Ready na ho kayo? Yes, po. Okay lang po ba mag ako ng kapraso? Yes, so, po. Sige po. I have a table on the screen. Can you all see the table? I'm not good in drawing. I'm yes, good in research. Po. Yes. Okay. So, sige po. Now, I ask the question. From the given picture, what can we claim? How many of you will agree with me with the claim that there is nothing on top of the table? Yes. Is that a claim? The yes. There is no, nothing yes. on top of the yes. table. Is that a yes. claim? Yes. 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 Who made the claim? Doc Alan or other people? Doc Alan. Doc Alan. Doc Alan. Doc Alan. Po. Oh, ngayon, oh. Now I'm putting some things on the table. Can I claim? Yes. 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 Po. yes. Oh, anong claim ko ngayon? Something, something on the table. Correct. Ito ang unang claim ko. There are things on the, the table. table. Claim yon. And every time you claim, anong susunod na sentence dapat? Evidence. Oh, evidence. Evidence. Ang lalagay ko ngayon sa next sentence ko ito. This include a book, timepiece, mobile phone, pen, laptop, coffee, and calculator. Tama ba? Yes. Kaya sabi nung iba, alam mo, hindi ako makapagsulat. Madaling magsulat. If you know how to claim and evidence, you can only claim kapag may nabasa ka. Yes or no? Yes. Wow. 
Yeah. Yun. Yeah. Kaya tingnan nyo to. When I put the two together, may two sentences na ako. Anong, sabihin, yeah. anong sinasabi nyo hindi pwedeng magsulat, hindi madaling, uh, mahirap sumulat? Madaling sumulat. Yeah. Kasi ang trabaho mo is to claim. And after mm-hmm. claiming, you provide an evidence. Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. Gawin natin to ngayon. Are you learning? Yes. 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 Now, thank gawin you, natin sa actual na pagsusulat. Let us assume the one on the screen is my database. Pasensya na po kayo, I shorten them. For example, age affects smoking beliefs. Correct? Oh, yes. I'm yes. just only, of course, diagramming this. Now, let me ask now the members of the group. Mentally, mentally, can you do some kind of dendrogramming? Pagsamasamahin nyo nga ho yung statements there or entries there from literature 1 to literature 4 which you think are similar in findings. Smoking belief. Yung age. L1. Po, mentally, L1. mentally lang po. Sorry. Sorry. No problem po. May nakikita na kayong similar? Yes. Tanong. Nakita nyo ho ba ito? Similarity number one. Yes. Yes. At age relates to smoking beliefs according yes. to oh. literature. One, two, three, four. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Did you also this, this see the same thing? That gender in the four articles is related yes. to smoking beliefs. Yes. 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 Tanong. Dalawa yung aking nakita doon. But do you think age and gender are the same or related? Related. related. Both are prof- both are they personal or professional profile? Personal. 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 So therefore, may nakita na akong findings. Pwede na akong mag-claim? Yes. Oh, mag-claim ako oh. ngayon. Tinan niyo yung claim ko. Smoking yes. beliefs yes. are shaped by personal profile such as age and gender. Sino nag claim? Oh. Oh. Sila pinagsama? Bakit naging Aryan? Because they are no longer similar. They are related. Correct? Now, tinan natin ito ngayon. Nakita niyo rin ba to sa ating diagram that educational attainments in literature 1, 2, and 3 are is related to smoking beliefs? Yes. Check, check, check. Yes. Yes. Nakita yes. niyo rin ba to na different? Siya lang ang merong ganito. Siya lang. That yes. health trainings attended relate to one smoking beliefs. Yes. 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 Okay. Anong gagawin ko ngayon? Ito yung una ko nakita na pare-pareho. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Ito yung nakita kong different. Pero, age and gender are personal. What can you say about educational attainment and trainings? Professional. 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 Therefore, can I claim? Yes. yes. Here's my claim. Professional variables such as educational attainments and health trainings attended influence one smoking beliefs. Isa lang yung sentence ko, pero apat yung citation ko. Powerful? Powerful. Powerful. And yan ang tamang pagsusulat. Powerful. Yes or no? Yes. At yes. hindi ba kapag susulat pag hindi nagbasa? <laughs> Kaya yung iba walang ginagawa kundi copy and paste. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Are you learning? Yes. Gawin yes. natin yes. ang thesis. Yes. Ang thesis. Okay. Tandaan nyo ba ito? Tinan nyo yung inyong page 18. Smoking beliefs have relationship with age, gender, attainment, length of smoking, and trainings attended. Is that a claim? Yes. Oh, yes. Ang tawag yes. ko dyan, crude version. Yan ang wow. English na pang high school. <laughs> pang high school yan. Hindi yung wordings po ba napakababaw? Yes. Hindi yes. naman. Tama naman. Kaya lang, there's, there must be a kind of scholarship when you write. Yes. Kaya nga academic writing. No? Hindi oh. sa literary, but academic writing. Pwede natin pagandahin pa? Yes, yes. po. Pwede yes. natin ito ngayon. Nirefine ko siya ngayon. Okay? Smoking, Smoking beliefs are shaped by personal and professional variables. Do you remember in English, one of our principles is the principle of kiss. Keep it short and simple. Mm-hmm. Yan ang English pang it's college. It's better. Galing, galing. Pang college better. yan. Sabi nila, meron ko palang mas maganda dyan. May pang masters pa. Pwede natin pagandahin pa? Yes. 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 Gandahan pa natin. Yan yung una, pangalawa, 
gawin nating pang graduate school. Kaya nito dapat. Previous studies have indicated that by and large, smoking beliefs are shaped by both personal and professional factors. Scholarly na, previous studies have indicated that by and large, smoking beliefs are shaped by both personal and professional factors. Ang ganda? Anong tawag dyan sa first sentence natin? Yan, I claim. Sino gawa niyan? Present author or previous authors? Present. Pag nag-claim ka, anong ina-expect sa next sentence? Evidence. Evidence na yan. For example, in a study conducted among smokers in a big metropolitan area in India, age and gender were found to be strong predictors of smoking beliefs. Tinan nyo ha, isa lang yung ina-evidence pero ang dami kong sinaside. Yes or no? Yes. Thanks to database. Thanks to dendrogramming. Thanks to Doc A. Yes or no? Yes. Thank you for Doc A. Thanks to Doc A. Yes. Sige. Ang tanong nyo ngayon ganito, Doc Alan, paano nag-evidence? Paano nag-evidence kayo? Di ba yung first sentence claim? And the evidence nyo ay yung second? Yes. Sabi ng mga thesis writers, Doc A, paano po, aside, ano paano namin i-introduce yung aming evidence? Eto po. Pwede nyo simulan, for example, for instance, In a study conducted by, according to, oh, di ba yes. iba pwede niyo magawa? Are you happy? Yes, sir. Sir, Ganyan sir, ang pagsusulat. Lang. <laughs> yes, Doc, po. Clarification lang. Apo. In your, uh, if you cite the evidence, yes, and that is part of your RLL, it follows that you've got to do it on the years when it was published. Because I saw in here, 203, 202, 208, 206, meaning, you disregard na rin the years when it was published. And so, the five-year period might be, of course, not that important anymore. That depends, no. of course, you know, on the discipline uh -oh. where we belong. Uh -uh. If you, of uh -oh. course, come from a very dynamic discipline, yes. normally, of course, do not take note of the last five years or seven uh -oh. years. Uh -oh. But if you belong, for example, to his history, humanities, uh -oh. for example, yes. or in philosophy, yes. where yeah. you have to resort to the most classical, you know, uh -huh. literature, then, of course, you may go back, you know, to the article as old as Solomon. Correct. <laughs> Pag sa Pilipino din po, na very limited ang resources, we really can, of course, uh, not naman ignore, but uh, consider the Opo. year. And that. normally, ma'am, ang ginagawa, nyo, ang ginagawa po natin dati kasi, we separate the foreign literature from the Correct, local from literature. The local. Luma na po yung foreign and local literature. When you cross-ref, uh -huh. both local and the, the, the foreign literature should be to blended cite, together. Cite, okay, as evidences. Opo, okay. kasi po, okay. kasi okay. okay. po, if they are the same naman, okay. nakaka, okay. Nakaka, nakakapagod na pong basahin para uh -huh. pareho lang. Uh, totoo okay. naman. Po. And is there hard and fast rules as to the number of RLL, be it local or foreign? Normally po, initially, what we, what we have, of course, in the grad school, in USD po, is we, we invite our master's students to have, of course, at least 50 references. 50? 50 or more. Uh, uh, with all my respect, uh, parang ang ang sinabi sa amin during the meeting kasi nung nagbagong pag nagbagong nagpapakilala ang director ng CHED talagang um, ninanais niya na may mga kulay para alam niya ah ito identity to ng Lasal ito identity to ng Changkai ito identity ng CEU at binanggit niya although natutuwa ako ng sinabi mo na we cross reference hindi yung talagang naka-isolate na Ito ang aking foreign literature, yes, ito po. ang aking local literature. You put Pero them together. Pero pagkawanag din na makakuha ka ng uh, dinidisregard pa nga at sinabi na malinaw din. Depende sa subject. Kung ito ay history nga naman, you really can consider since time immemorial. Opo. Opo. Pero at least daw, sampung local, sampung foreign, Pero pagka binilagay mo na cross-references, pwede naman yung uh, nakakatuwa ito. For example, in the study conducted in 2003, 2005, 2006, the many as, as you can. Nakakatuwa, very convincing. And we consider that as very, very cumulative. Apo. Salamat. Yes. Okay. yes. okay. Are you all learning? Yes or no? Apo. Apo. Yes. Apo. Okay. Tinan po natin itong next sentence ngayon. 
Previous studies have indicated that by and large, smoking beliefs are shaped by both personal and professional factors. Claim po ba yan? Opo. Opo. Ano yung pula? Yeah. For example? Evidences. Evidence. Evidence na po yan. Okay? So, ganun po ang pag-usulat. Okay. Mga sadyante ko po, pag naturoan ko na ito, sir, masarap pa lang sumulat kasi alam ko na yung basic rule. Okay po? Opo. And then yung sa baba po, yan ang ating cross-referencing. References. Okay? So, next. Pag meron pa po kayong ilalagay na iba, tinan nyo ito. Nilagay ko po additionally, additionally, factors such as length of smoking also showed strong relationship to overall smoking belief system. Napansin nyo po, yung una ko po, pinagsama-sama ko si LIT1, LIT3, LIT2, and LIT4. Bakit po? Is it because they are similar or related? Related. Similar. You put the same different authors in the same citation if they're all similar pag pareho po yung Correct. sinabi pero iba ang phrasing lang still similar po yon so understanding talaga you opo it. talaga po nang intindihan talaga nung nagbabasa po tingnan niyo po tong sumunod ang pinag-uusapan dito is more of gender and age yes or no yes and this age and gender were found in all the literature no wonder we put them together in the same citation okay, okay. now I want you to see now literature number three. Now I'm bringing back literature number three. But this time, I am not referring to age and gender, but this time to length of smoking. And no wonder, this I am putting the word additionally because I am putting this not on the basis of similarity, but on the basis of relationship. Relationship to the first sentence. Okay. Because if they, are, if they are similar, I might as well put that one in the first sentence. The first, okay. Pa? Yes. Yes. Next, tignan niyo po ito ngayon, yung susunod natin ngayon. So that's evidence too. Tanong, possibly who ba? Is it possible that as you read different articles, you get to see that the finding of one article is being negated by other articles? Oh, yes. So do you report them? Yes. Yes, but many of the students would avoid them. Kasi mahirap isulat, hindi alam paano susulatin. How do you do that? Tignan niyo po ito. Look at my first sentence now. Across the literature, there seems to have some conflicting results as to how personal and professional profiles exert influence on smoking belief system. Claim or evidence? Evidence. Claim. First sentence, claim or evidence? Um, claim. 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 That's, claim. You know, claim. that's claim. a claim. 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 Tinan nyo ngayon yung next sentence. What do we expect in the next sentence? Claim or evidence? Evidence. 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 Tinan nyo ngayon ito ha. Mm -hmm. While gender consistently show its positive influence on smoking <laughs> beliefs, one to four, age and education attainment is identified in the study of LIT5 were found to negatively. So hindi ko iniwasan yung negative. Pinagsama ko sa isang sentence. Correct? Yes. Parang yes. mas maganda nga po siya yata kapag may ganun po, no? Ma'am, oh. depende. Pag meron ko yung nakitang negation, oh. you put them together. Kung wala naman, huwag siya lang pag-awayin. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, let's make peace, no? Kailang mag... uh, mapapahaba. Kaya yeah. naman ang kaaway pag gano'n. Sabihin nyo na rin yung nagsulat. Hindi mo sinabi yun na. Ayun, ayun, ayun. Ayun, ayun. Okay. Kasi maganda pa. Ang ganda, ang ganda pa. Correct. Yes. Pag mahaba siya, o parang mag-debate. Eh, yun ang uh, for the thesis writers, when you start writing your findings, please avoid using the word prove. That in this paper, it was proven. Kasi oh. pag nilagay niyo po yung proven, eh, napatunayan, mo, nap napatunayan mo na pala. So wala na kami ibang gagawin. Wala na ibang gagawa ng research. So ang magas maganda ko ganito, tinan niyo po ito. The results from the BioC come back and it appears. And no wonder in research, they normally make use of the word apparently seemingly, mm -hmm. correct? Why? Okay. Uh -huh. Because ang tawag po natin dyan, I think the language teachers here are very familiar with this word, hedging device. Right. Important that a writer, you know, uses the so-called hedging devices. Look at this. Tinan nyo po ito. Iba po yung, you know, when I put previous studies have indicated. So I am not saying, I, I, I'm just simply saying as far as the studies are concerned, these are the findings, correct? So we normally do some kind of stance taking. You don't simply, of course, make a stand now. Either you boost or you hedge. But more importantly, I would like, of course, to, to, in, to emphasize to the members of the group, it's nice to do some kind of hedging because, you know, it somehow 
softens you know, your statement. Tinan niyo po ito, there is a primary malignancy of the nasopharynx, mostly likely. No? Or most, most likely. likely. Again, it's another hedging device. Hedging. Sa inyo pong material, Dr. Neri, nilagay ko na rin po sa mga thesis writers. Hindi ko po i-discuss ito, don't worry. I'm giving you now the list of hedging devices that our students can use, which is an important feature of academic writing. Bakit po? It is a kind of, you know, it's a way for you to demonstrate politeness and indirectness. Yeah. Parang teacher ba, uh, kapag ang mga bata hindi po sumasagot sa klase, hindi niyo sinasabing, ayun na naman kayo, hindi kayo handa talaga kahit kailan. Masakit po ba o hindi? Sakit. Apo. Pero pag sinabi ng teacher, you know class, it seems that you are not prepared for this yeah. afternoon session. Uh -huh. It seems that you are not prepared. No, naging din ako ng College of Education sa UST for three years in the College of Education. Kasi gusto mm -hmm. ko kasi mag-research kasi mag-dean. Wala ako nakaaway na teacher. No, Bakit po? Every time I talk to them, I always hedge. I always, of course, you know, tell them, you know, I think, I believe, you know, apparently... Mm -hmm. Diba? Parang sa asawa lang po yan. Pag dumating asawa nyo ng gabi na, huwag nyo sabihin na, oh, buti umuwi ka pa. Buti alam mo may pamilya ka pang uuwian. Mapapaaway kayo. Ang sabihin nyo po, parang ginagabi ka yata ngayon. Diba yung word na parang is a hedging device. Correct? Very polite. More diplomatic. Correct. Correct. So ayun po, mga kapatid, are you happy with the list? Same, ten, look like, appear to be... Um, diba? Think. Kaya pag may mga meetings, so what do you say about this project? Ano sabi po ng isang member? Um, I, I think we can still, we can still you know, improve you know, the, the project by kasi nag-hedge ka using thinking. Yes. My dear students, are you happy with the list? Yes. 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 Very good. Yes. Very so hindi good. ko po i-discuss ito. Trabaho po na inyong research teacher. No? Yeah. So binigay ko lang po yung listahan. No, to of course remind you of what you know these hedging devices are, and this can be seen you know in any write up. Tinan yu po ito. Tinan yu po. In the first sentence, is there any hedging device used? Oh, probably one. Communication is probably one of the most. Probably, probably one. Because if you say that communication is one of the most, sure, 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 sure. Correct. But other, of course, you know, disciplines might react to you. Correct? Mm -hmm. so, kaya nga po, pag sumusulat tayo, tingnan nyo po yung mga use ng mga hedging, hedging devices ng mga estudyante uh -huh. nyo. Tense, can, thought to be around. no? So you can probably take a look at this on your, during your private time because of time elements. Okay? Happy po ba kayo? Yes, very happy. Hindi nga po, tingnan nyo po ito. Let's learn from this article on page 24. Tanong mga kapatid, where do you find the claim the claim element. The one claiming is the author. The first sentence. Correct. The first sentence is the claim. Correct? Correct. Yan ang trabaho ng author kasi you provide transition to what you're reading or to what you've read. Now, after the claim, what will the readers be expecting next? Evidence. Tignan natin ito nga yung evidence ngayon. May evidence bang nilagay? Yes. By one, two, which is citation? Yes. May one, two, the next sentence is three, is another evidence, another one, number four. Tanong, why is one and two put together? Similar related? Similar. Similar. Why is three and four, you know, separated from one and two? Related. 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 Correct? So, tinan yes. niyo po, oh, thanks to dendrogramming, thanks to database. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Oh, tinan niyo number five, galing pa rin sa literature. Yung number six, galing pa rin sa literature. Yung number seven, galing pa rin. Pag marami kang nabasa, makakapag-evidence ka. Ang trabaho mo lang, mag-claim. Yes or no? Yes. What about in the, in the next sentence now? Why am I putting together eight and nine? Sige nga. What do eight and nine notations nine. signify? Similar, related, different? Similar. Similar. Pero, uh, similar. did you see the word but? Negation. Yeah. There. Yes. yes. Instead oh, of but, coming but, up with a new but, sentence of a different finding, nagbat na lang. Like however. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's the purpose of conjunction. 
Correct? Mm. Kaya okay. nga po, tinan niyo po ito, yan din yun. Are you happy with your learning now? Yes. 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 Very happy. Then natin itong next sentence ngayon. Why is 13 and 14 put together? They are similar. 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 Tanong. Look at, of course, you know, um, look at this. According to the CDC, which is number 11, why are we putting N for number 12? Related. 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 Pero pag pareho, you put them in one cross-ref. Yes. Uh -huh. Pero pag related lang, use yes. the conjunction yes. N. Yes. Correct? Pag different yon, use other conjunction for negation. Yes. Are you happy? Yes. Yes. Very yes. Happy. And okay. so, Doc A. Yes po. A, in the introduction, you already lifted some of your database. Yes po. Ma'am, actually po, in the in chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, in all chapters, yeah. all these trade secrets will come into play. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Pag natutunan niyo po lahat itong trade secrets uh, uh, po, it will apply very in your writing. And very yes. Convincing. Very convincing. Correct. Sige po. Yeah, okay, po. You, can have, you can have the coherence, unity, and you being organized. Yeah. I agree with you, Doctora. Yeah. Next. Yeah. Thank you. Kaya nga po, pag nagko-connect tayo ng ideas, ng similar related, on page 25, hindi ko po i-discuss ito ulit. Hindi po ako English teacher. <laughs> I'm giving you now again the list of transitional words. Yeah. Nandiyan na po ang listahan ninyo. Are you happy with the list, students? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So kayo nang bahala dyan kung anong gagamitin nyo. Pero pag ginamit nyo, dapat tama ah. Baka kasi negate, neg, ah, ano yan, negating, iba ginagamit mong term kasi natuwa ka lang doon, no? Oh, oh. Sige po. Sige po. Pwede po tayo mag-exercise ng kapraso? Okay. We end at 3.30, okay lang po? Okay. Okay. Magbigay ako ng database. Tingnan natin kung magagawa tayo ng claim and evidence. So ito yung database ko about social media. Taken from Clark, from Peter, from Papagian, Denise, Kotler, Chien, and Bush. I want you to examine the entries. In your minds, mentally, I want you to do some kind of dendrogramming. What do these entries or bullets have in common? Social media. It's all about social media. Social media. But what about? What about? Usage, the usage. Correct, the... usage now. Good, good. So nakita nyo na kaagad yung pattern. Yun ang maganda pag may database. Pag nakita nyo yung entries, makita nyo what these bulleted items are trying to tell us. So ngayon, balik po tayo dito ulit. Can you possibly make a claim for this? Anyone from the group? Mag-claim nga yes, mo kayo. Po. Sige, claim. Claim. Ah, wait lang po. Mag-isip muna. Sige, mag-isip muna. Sa tulong na banal na Espiritu Santo. Let the Holy Spirit guide you now. <laughs> social media. Okay. Social media for the social change. According to social media, as of, as, according to Clark and Smith, pwede po ba yun, sir? Eh, pag kay Clark lang, paano yung iba? Eh, lahat naman usage yan. According to previous studies. <laughs> okay. Social previous media. studies. Go. So, ma'am, tulad sumula mo. Previous studies. Yeah. Previous studies about yeah. social media as a... Previous studies suggest. Go. As a, uh, previous studies suggest social media. The social media. The social, the social media is a good facilitating factor for social media. Social change. Of social change and innovation. Okay, ma'am. Okay lang po, natitend si ma'am eh, no? Pero pag dumaan sa kamay ni Doc Alan yan, pagagandahin ko pa yan. Pwede natin pagandahin yan, ma'am? Yes. Yeah. Ito na ngayon. Tinan niyo yung una kong sentence, ha? The role of social media cannot be underestimated. Yeah. Or, several studies suggest a wide range of social media use today. Very good. Ano, oh, nakita niya? Ganda sir, ganda ng magka-English. Eh, syempre, writer naman ako. Ikaw naman, oo. Pwede kayong mamili dyan kung gusto mo yung item o pula. Both sentences, of course, apply. Correct? Ito, opo, both maganda. Magandang pakinggan. Ganyan ang mga sadyante ko. Pag ako na sumulat, ang ganda na po, hindi ko na bababaguhin yan. Maganda na sir eh, no? Sige. O, claim yan. Anong susunod ngayon? 
Evidence. 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 Yes. Nyo nga yan. In fact, oh, yeah. its vital role has been affirmed in various studies as a tool yes. for social change and innovation, online communication. Na pansin nyo na pagsama-sama ko lahat sila yes. in one yes. sentence. Yes. Yeah. Ang galing. Ang galing. galing. Masarap yan. Sa para, pag panahin nyo, parang ang dali-dali. Pero pag ginawa nyo, sabi, ang hirap. Ang hirap. Ang hirap mo yung bigla. Ang kanina po, hindi. Oh, ano nga ba? Hindi ako naman yun, ma'am. Okay lang po yun. Uh, total, ano naman yung Holy Week? Pinapatawad na kita. No? <laughs> Sige. Ma'am, kailan mo to? Hindi na ako nag-claim. Pinagsama ko na claim and evidence. Isang sentence lang. In recent years, social media have been extensively used to facilitate mm-hmm. swabbing-swabbing. Hindi ako nangopya, pero nag-site ako. Swabbing? Oh. Correct? Okay. Nakita nyo, binasa mo, si, all, Kot- yun binasa yun mo yun. si Kotler, ang nakuha mo lang branding, napagod ka, mm-hmm. nag-download ka ng 30 pages, nakuha mo lang word na branding. Mm-hmm. At least you will not be charged of plagiarism. Kaya sir, di ba no, sir, hindi, hindi nyo set up all pieces right now. You have plenty of ano, references. Correct. Yoga, That's why you naman, Doktora, ang suggestion ko po sa siyang kay Shek, sana po we can also offer to your students a separate course on academic writing. Oh. Sa amin po sa USC Grad School, it's a requirement now for our okay. master's students to enroll in advanced academic writing. Doc A, related, Doc A, related Apo. to what you are telling us, under CMO number 15, they were, uh, we had the meeting Uh, siguro last last ano lang Friday night uh, they were simply telling us wala nang basic wala nang cognate 26 uh, major subjects units and uh, 24 plus 6 na thesis so are you suggesting uh, sinabi din na pwede namang uh, alisin na uh, yung kabuuan ng basic para lang uh, it will be Uh, parallel with this MO number 15, both mm-hmm. in Ma- MAED and in MBA. Correct. What is your comment about this? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm answering the question from the point of view of someone coming from a deregulated institution like uh-huh, USD. Yeah, yeah, um, of course, if you are not deregulated, what we can do is simply But to comply with the requirements one. of the CMO. Yeah. Yes. But if we happen to enjoy a wider okay. latitude of autonomy, This yes. is where, of course, you know, we get to come up with needs-based yeah. decision. And no wonder in US Depot, we just simply look at these overall uh-huh. weaknesses of our yes. students, our observations in the thesis defended. And based on this, we, of course, decided to introduce yes. the advanced academic uh-huh. writing. And we also That introduced advanced statistics to them. Salamat. Pero ma'am, kung hindi naman niyo hindi niyo po magalaw yung curriculum po, I think the graduate school can also come up with some seminars like this. You okay. invite, you know, a, an expert in the field to somehow, you know, expand the horizons okay. of the students. Po. Correct. Opo. Okay. And uh, we are very passionate about this kasi batang-bata yung mga leaders namin. Opo. Correct. Opo. Salamat. And Hindi ba kayo masaya? Page 30 na tayo. Tapos na tayo. Yes. <laughs> Sorry pa, we're supposed to end at 3 o'clock. Okay. But I requested if we can okay. end at around 3.30. Okay learning. lang po? Yes. Okay, uh-huh. so let me share with you the last trade secret of Doc Alan. Now, every time I write papers, people would say, are you an English major? I'm not an English major. But I just simply adhere to my trade secrets. Wherever I go, wherever, whatever I do, I always stick to these trade secrets. Mm-hmm. My dear colleagues, what is our first trade secret? Keep a good Keep data a database. Base. database. From the database, what do we do? We look for similarities, mm-hmm. relationship by means of mm-hmm. dendrogramming. Mm-hmm. From dendrogramming, what, what, what do we do? Trade secret number three, claim. Claim. Evidence, evidence formula. Because from there, we can now start writing yeah, the actual yeah. literature review. And yeah. I call it as the Doc Allen's SA formula. SA yeah. formula. So, paano po yung formula? Gusto nyo malaman yung formula ko? Mm. Yes. yes, Doc. Oh, okay. Baka masyado scientific. Pag-utom na po kayo. Would you like to know my concoction? Okay, this is my concoction now of S and A. I call it synoptic argumentative formula. A good review of literature, whether the thesis format or the publishable paper, must have two important components. It must 
give the synopsis of previous papers and must also advance the arguments of the present undertaking. So dalawa pong tinitingnan sa review. Pag magbabasa kayo ng review, ang titingnan nyo, did the writer provide a good synopsis of previous papers? And towards the end of the paragraph or towards the end of the write-up, is the writer now advancing the new argument or the hypothesis of the paper? Ang karaniwang format po ng chapter 2 sa mga papers na nakita ko sa iba-ibang eskulahan, meron tayong sa dulo po, synthesis, synthesis of the literature review. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, yes. Lumang practice na po yon in the Philippines. So ngayon po, tingnan natin kung paano gagawin yung synthesis na yon through the synoptic of Doc Alan and argumentative. Okay, these are the two major components of a good literature review. Synoptic argumentative. Dalawa po ang parts ng synoptic according to Doc Alan. In your handouts on page 30, I have D, I have S components. In argumentative, I have SOP and I have the so-called NFS. So baka nag-iisip po ano ibig sabihin nung dinayan, Doc A, eto po yan sa inyong material. When we do literature review, two important parts. In the first part of the review, synopsis. Kaya hindi na kailangan ng synthesis of literature review. Kasi yung ah. first part mo pa lang, nagsisynthesize ka na rin. Oh. Yes or no? So kung baka parang ito yung baby synthesis, meron kang mother synthesis, wala na po. Pagsamasamahin oh. na po natin yon. And then, towards the end, dun mo i-raise ngayon yung argumentative. So, pag sinusulat po ito, papasok ulit yung alam natin na claim and evidence. Okay, next. So, ano yung D? Define what the variable is all about. Dito ho lumalabas ang definition of terms. Nagtataka ako sa mga thesis po. Meron pa kayong chapter, chapter 1, list of definition of terms. Yes or no? Oh, yes. Wala na po yun kasi dito mismo po sa literature review magde-define na tayo what our topic is all about. And the second one is we start stating now the findings of previous papers. So dito papasok lahat yung pag-aaral na ginawa for the last five or seven years. I call it the D and the S component. So I would like you to understand this in a short while and then towards the end makikita nyo na po yung argumentative na dito po, pag sa kanina po, yung DNS po, galing po yan sa previous researchers. Kaya tinawag na synopsis. While the argumentative belongs to, the, belongs to you, the current researcher, bakit po? Dito papasok yung sentence of problematizing or what I call as the need for the study. Tinan nyo po ito ha, gawin ko sa pang-araw-araw na buhay. Kinausap mong nanay mo. Tinan nyo paano ka mag-synoptic and argumentative. Nay, Galing po ako ng SM. Sabi, sabi nanay mo, o bakit? Ano naman yun? Nay, meron pong sale sa SM. Mura po ito, may discount po ito, ito po yung binibenta. Am I giving the synopsis? Yeah. Yes. Po, sabi nanay mo yun. Sabi okay. nanay mo, ano ngayon, ang, ano ngayon ang problema mo? Kung may SM, na tayong pera. pera. Nay, <laughs> anda niyo po ba nung isang araw hindi po ako nakapagpasa ng project sa teacher ko? Kasi wala po ako nung gamit na ganito. Sana na makabili po ako. That's the need for you to buy. That's the need for the study. So kailangan binibigay mo na yung argument. Marami kang kwento, pero sabi nanay mo, eh, ano ngayon? Ano gusto mong mangyari? Wala nga, nanay. Kasi pag di po ako nakabili nito, hindi po ako makaka makakapagbasa ng project. Hinahanap po yan sa mga scientific literature. Gawin natin po. Malapit na ako matapos. Page 30 po. Ah, sige, tinan niyo po ito ha. The paper is all about resilience. Yes or no? Yes. Bob. Okay. Yes. Ayan. So, pag yan ang unang variable ko, meron akong apat na variables. Apat ang aaraling ko. So, ilan ang aking segment sa literature review? Apat. Apat din. So, it so happened here, the first one is resilience. Yeah. Tingnan nyo ngayon. Paano papasok yung DS? Remember? Synoptic argumentative. In synoptic, dalawang bagay. You define first define. what variable is all about um, and following this are the statements of the findings of previous papers along that line. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Apo. Look at the first sentence. Uh, Resilience is defined as the ability to rebound and regain original shape following trauma or shock. Yeah. How do you call it? Synoptic, argumentative? Synoptic. 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 Is it oh, definition yeah. of term? Or Define statement it. of findings? Defining it. Uh, Definition of findings. Yon. 
Ang tawag ko dyan, SD, Synoptic Defining. Defining. Correct? Tingnan yes. nyo ngayon, very quickly, yung next sentence. It is underpinned by the individual's ability to recover and return once again to those former behaviors of adaptation that characterize the individual before the period of disruption. Ano yan? Same. Synoptic argumentative. Argumentative. Synoptic pa po. Ang argumentative oh, okay. galing sa inyo. Sorry, ang argumentative po, oh. walang cross-ref. Yes. Okay. Ah. okay. Ang tawag ko po dyan ay synoptic statement of findings. Yan ang findings ah. ni Garmeze at sa kani Waller. Tingnan niyo okay. po ito. One in 1993, one in 2000. Why am I putting them together? They are similar. Yun. Thanks to database. database. Thanks to dendrogram. And thanks to Sega. Sir Doc <laughs> Alan. <laughs> Biro lang po yan. Lambing lang po yan. Okay. Are you learning? Tira niyo. Very quick. Very much. Ang review of literature po, hindi po pahabaan ito. What is important? Oh. Substantial. Nakita ko dapat yung okay. S and A. S, D, S, S. Sige po. Tuloy natin. Next. So isang finding pa lang yon. Next. Seminal research examined childhood resilience. However, more recent research has described resilience following major loss. Ano yan? S or A? Synoptic argumentative. Synoptic. Synoptic. Why am I putting together Garmezi, Ratzer, and Werner? They're all similar. They are similar. Correct? Why am I putting here, however? However, yan. Related. Oh, related kayo dyan. No. Okay. However, 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 and, however and, difference. 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 Yes, yes difference. sir, no? Yes, difference. Yes, sir. Correct. Sige po, mga kapatid. Hindi ba kayo na-impress dito sa writer na to? Only the word no, in Holocaust survivors. Dalawang binasa para lang dito. Yes or no? Yeah. Ang nangyayari sa thesis writing po, marami po, copy and paste, copy and paste. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, that's that's synoptic statement finding two. Next, resilience is a multi-dimensional construct that varies with context, time, age, and life circumstances. Ano po yan? Synoptic, argumentative. Synoptic. Synoptic. Definition or statement. Definition. Definition. Hindi po definition. Pag nagdefine na kay sa una, wag na kay magdefine ulit. Once lang yun. Huwag makulit. Sabi na gradyo. Kasi simula kailan. lang po siya, di ba? Simula lang. Kasi okay. finding to nila, nila Connor that they found that resilience is a multi-dimensional oh. construct. Oh, that is findings. Correct. Findings pa rin po yan. Findings. Anong? Okay. Why are we putting them together? Connor, okay. Garmezi, Masten? Similar. 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 Okay, Similar. good. Tingnan niyo ito ngayon. Resilience has also been described in relation to managing the effects of change within the workforce. Still, statement of findings. Correct? Statement yes. of findings. Findings. Ayan. Tapos findings. na ako ng synoptic. Ilan na sinerize ko? Apat. Correct? Apat. Meron akong D, meron akong apat na S. Yes or no? Yes. Pero wala pa akong A. Apat ako na. Correct? Ano ngayon ang isang ano ngayon ang inang argue mo? O, tinanya ko ngayon. However, it has not been Tried or measured in relation to personal characteristics and their potential to potential influence operating room nurses resilience in the workplace. Na ipasa ko na yung gusto kong gawen. Argument. Apo. Tanong. Blank spot. Blank spot. Blank. It has not been. Wala pang nag-aaral. Blank. 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 Tanong. Sa mga gumagawa ng thesis. Sa inyong review of literature, makikita ko ba sa last portion kung nagbibigay ng blank spot or blind spot? Yes. Dapat. Dapat meron. Yes or no? Yes. There you are. Okay? Ang tawag dyan, sentence of problematizing. Happy po ba kayo? Kaya pala sa hirap. Kaya pala nahirapan na kami. Blank spot. Kaya pala problematizing na. Yes, kaya nga po, di ba ma'am, meron mga, may mga studyante na kapag-review ng literature, sabi ng advisor, ano ngayon ang statement of the problem mo? 
Kaya nga po ako nagpunta sa inyo, magpapatulong po ako eh. Diba? Imagine mo, nag-review ka. Tapos hindi ka lang naisip na problema. So ibig sabihin, hindi ka marunong mag-sentence sa problematizing. Yes or no? Oo. Yeah. Yan yun. Sige po, last na po ito. Magaling na si Stan. Bakit tayo nag-review? Kasi gusto natin ipakita na may bago tayong ginagawa. Yes, yes or no? Yes. So dalawa po ang bahagi ng review, synoptic and argumentative. argumentative. We did synoptic, we define first, okay. and then we state the findings. Towards yeah. the end, we introduce okay. our sentence of problematizing. Mm -hmm. Tignan po natin sa isang paper na ginawa ko with Statement my students in the that. undergrad. Undergrad to ha, hindi to masters. Undergrad to. Tignan nyo. Ay, hindi ang titles eh. Ano po? Ay, yung kanina po. Oh, Ayan din yung kanina, ma'am. Sige. Ilan ang review of literature ko? Apat. Apat. Sige. Reviewing ko sa social isolation. Yan natin ito ngayon. I want you to apply your learning now. Synoptic, argumentative, synoptic definition, synoptic state. What is the first sentence? Definition. 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 Definition for sure. Tanong, why am I putting together 1991, 1996, 2006, 2007? Different time, but same. Similar. That's my synoptic definition. Correct? At tapos na ako mag-define. Ano niya lagay ko sa mga succeeding sentences ko? Findings na. Statement of findings na. O kaya tinan niyo yung unang first finding na nakita ko ay mulins. People. People are considered lonely okay. because people are then considered lonely because of because the absence of, of an accepting community. Sa lang siya. Okay? Yeah. Next. Yeah. Look at the first sentence here. Ano man sabi sa first sentence? Social isolation predisposes a person to loneliness. Ano pa yun? Ano yun? You're playing? Claim. I am claiming. When do you claim? Nagkiklaim po tayo kapag pag gusto nyong i-introduce ang isang magandang finding. Yes or no? Kasi pag binagdikit nyo si Perlman sa kasing mulins, hindi sila related. Yes or no? Yes. So para po maiba si Perlman kay mulins, nag-claim ako. At term ang claim ko, mag-evidence na ako ngayon. Ito na yun. Evidence na statement. Correct? Yes. Yung sumunod na sentence, evidence pa rin. Correct? Yes. Yun. Nakahan niya? Yes, sir. Tanong ko sa inyo. Nagugulo na kami. Agree ba kayo? Agree, agree, agree. Kailan niyo po ito? Bakit sa synoptic statement and related? Napansin niyo yung end? Oo po. Yeah. Connector. Yeah. Ano pa? Connection nila po yan. Connect. Oo. Oh, oh. Kasi, hindi sila pareho nung una, but they are related. So, instead of coming up with a separate sentence, I'll just use a conjunction end. Correct? Correct. And then, mga kapatid, tinan nyo yung nasa dulo ngayon. Napansin nyo itong H1? Oh, hypothesis. Diyan nilalagay ang hypothesis, hindi sa chapter 1. Doon kayo matakot. Meron kang hypothesis, there's no significant, there's no significant. Ayan, pinanggalingan nun. Nakuha nyo po? Are you learning now? Pinaglalayo nyo sila. Yung H1 po yung hypothesis. Sa pasang sa literature review. Kaya ang tawag dyan na abandonan na ligaw. Dapat wala. Dapat wala. Dapat wala. Dyan ay prodigal son. Prodigal statement yan. Dapat walang HO, di ba? Dapat HO. Walang HO po. H1 yan. Okay. Last na po ito. Last na. I were done already. Nice. Sige po. Apply nyo lang po ulit. I'm now reviewing physical functioning. First sentence, please. Definition. Synoptic, argumentative. Synoptic. Synoptic. Definition, statement. Definition. Definition. Good. Next. Look at the next sentence now. Difficulty in performing these physical activities would result. Nakita nyo nag ano? Argumentative. Nagheads sa ko would result in a decreased, you know, and the presence of depressive symptoms. Ano yan? Synoptic, argumentative. Argumentative na po. Synoptic yan, ma'am. Kasi yung argumentative yung hypothesis mo. Sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. Ang synoptic, laging meron niyang citation. Yes, yes. Correct? Correct. 
Correct. Ang tawag dito sa second sentence niyan, synoptic pa rin yan, pero statement of previous findings. Yes. And why are we putting Kennison, Sue, Choi, Elliot together? Related. Similar. 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 Not related. Similar. Pag magkakasama yan sa ano, similar yan. Similar. Correct? Correct. Correct. Okay. Okay. Tingnan nyo ngayon yung last sentence. This led to the, the development, development of two hypotheses. Explain nyo. Huh? This, led, this led to the development. Opo. Kasi sinabi ko sa however, no evidence. So, ibig sabihin, oh. is that synoptic or argumentative? Argumentative. 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 Pero argumentative. yung argumentative ko, kinuha ko sa isang nabasa ko na pareho kami na naiisip. Yes. Opo. Kasi may ko ngayon. May kampina ko. I have an ally now. Uh, and then yeah. this led to the development of two hypotheses. Two hypotheses. Yes. 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 That's SS, SS, that's SOP. Correct? Okay. Anong? Is my review lengthily done or substantially written? Substantially written. Substantially written. Huwag po kayong maghanap ng makapal na chapter 2. Yes. Okay po? Okay. Anong mga kapatid? Where are you coming from? From the publishable or thesis format? Publishable. Publishable. Hindi po, this is format kayo eh. Di ba? Okay naman. Masyado nyo ako ini-impress. So, where are you coming from? I did not say, where are you heading to? Where are we coming from? I forgot. I forgot. Hindi na kaya dahil sa school. Nag-enjoy ako sa school ninyo. Beautiful. Sige po. Tanong, as we end the session, balikan ko po yung tinanong ko sa inyo kanina. Sino yes. sa inyo? How many of you here learn something new? Yes, me, me, me. I like How many of you here would like to unlearn old thinking and old practices? Unti-unti. Yes. Unti-unti. Balik tayo doon sa sinasayo po ni Dr. Neri. Mga kapatid, you come of course from a Chinese school. I love this book. I don't know how to pronounce this in Chinese. No? How do you pronounce it? Is it Sun Tzu? No. How do you pronounce it? Okay, never mind, never mind. This Chinese scholar wrote a book. You know, you can download this book from Google. It's entitled "The Art of War," and one of my favorite statements in the book of "In the Art of War" is "Every battle is won before it is fought." It's one way of saying you can win even before the war, and you can do that if you are always prepared. Or something, yes or no? Yes. I just hope that I was able to give you some kind of preparation. Yes, Paul. Thank you. And to end the session, my dear colleagues, I hope you can also refer to one of my favorite books written by Carol Dweck, a psychologist, who wrote the who wrote, who wrote the book entitled Mindset. Sabi punya, change can be tough, but I've never heard anybody saying it. It wasn't worth it. Sabi ni Dr. Neri, unti-unti. Pero, by the time you know you reach that stage, you will all say, it was of course all worth it. Why? Because Carol Deck once said, if you come from a university or college, either you have a growth mindset or fixed mindset. Ano yung fixed mindset? Tinuruan ni Doc Alan, sabi ng mga faculty, huwag yan, mahirap yan, okay na itong dati na IPO. Pero ang tanong, sabi mo, baka pwede natin gawin. Pero unti-untiin natin. Correct? Okay. Pwede naman. Those who belong to growth mindset is risk to change. Fixed mindset yes. risk to remain. Ano kayo dyan? Risk to change or risk to remain? Change. Growth. To change. No. change. Do you agree with that with the statement practice makes perfect? Yes. 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 But let me change of, this. What kind of practice? Really? practice let me makes... change this. You read this book. Better than this statement. Correct practice. Practice, practice makes, makes perfect. Practice. practice. Better than practice makes perfect. Oh, practice makes practice than The practice. more you practice, the more you develop good practices. Yes or no? Yes. 
And according to Deborah Britzman in this, in this book, learning to teach is always a process of becoming a time of formation and transformation of scrutiny into what one is doing and who and one yes. becomes. Let me paraphrase this in this way. Learning to do research is always a process of becoming, a time of formation and transformation of scrutiny into what one is doing and who one becomes. My dear colleagues, I hope you enjoyed the session this afternoon. Yes, I enjoyed. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr.